I can hear you. I can hear you. Right now, your people are home. I know you are here for someone who is sick, whoever he is, and whatever situation they are in. Lift up your voice and pray. Ask God to restore the situation, to restore the person, to restore your loved one. Glory, prayer. Priez pour nos bien-aimés à la maison. Nous demandons à Dieu de restaurer cette personne, de rester dans la situation, de, de les restaurer dans le nom de Jésus-Christ. Priez. Pidamos para que Dios restaure cualquier persona que se encuentre a su alrededor. Restaure a la Señor. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Right now, you can begin to confess whom you are. I was there. You brought me into the light. Confession, confession. Confess whom you are. You are my healer, my deliverer. All things pass away. All things become new. Now I can hold my faith. You have healed my brokenness. You have healed my brokenness. You have healed me inside outside. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus Christ's name. If you have those who are just coming at this moment, lift your voice with me. You are coming to Jesus for the first time in your life. I want to pray with you anywhere you are. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. I want to hear your voice. Let me hear your voice. I want to hear your voice. Let me hear your voice. Let me hear what to do. Let me hear where to go. Let me hear how to do them. In Jesus Christ's name. Give glory to God. Give thanks to God. Whether God bless you or not, whether God deliver you or not, He is my deliverer. Amen. Tell your neighbor, it honors Him to believe Him, even why every sense contradicts Him. <laughs> to learn how to hear God after prayer is a much greater blessing than is the healing. When you are poor and anxiously in need of blessing, you will not mind the source that supplies that blessing. To learn how to hear from above after prayer is a much greater blessing than what you are looking for. You are looking for blessing, you are looking for healing. You have not discovered this. Because the prayer of faith can be repeated 10,000 times. What is your confidence in God's word? My confidence in God's word, Jesus is a redeemer, whether he redeemed me or not. Jesus is deliverer, whether he delivered me or not. That is my confidence.
worldly honor is a glittering thing. Our care must be that we may have wisdom and grace to know how much to suffer with Christ Jesus. And we may trust him to provide what the degree of our glory shall be. Christ going on with his understanding of the salvation of mankind was, is, and will be the wonder of all his disciples. He loves us and will only give to his children what is good for them. A mother cannot forget the child on her back. Maybe you can identify Maybe you feel like all around you things are happening, people are moving, times are changing, and you are just still sitting, wondering, complaining, crying, depressed. Batmail sat by the side of the road because he was blind. You who are sitting by the highway of life saying, I am blind, I am poor, I have no job, I have no husband, I'm lonely, I'm depressed. Why me of all this? I don't get it. Does God not care about me? Or is he just passing by quickly? Take hope. Tell your neighbor, take hope. Batman cried out and the son stood still. Son of David, stood still. May your cry stop the son of David in front of you. If Christ will gratify all our desire, it will soon appear that we desire fame or authority and are unwilling to taste of his cup or to have his baptism. In every situation, God has something to say. A slow movement of a tiger is not a mistake, but a calculated accuracy. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, a slow movement of a tiger is not a mistake, but a calculated accuracy. Jesus Christ clearly links faith to forgiveness. If we are not forgiving, let someone say, if we are not forgiving, the power of faith is short circuited. Why? Because a person who does not love or will not forgive cannot be entrusted with that kind of power to heal, to bless, to deliver, to redeem. Have you forgiven your brothers? 
if you must receive you must learn to plant if we are not forgiving the power of faith is short circuited why because a person who does not love or will not forgive cannot be entrusted with that kind of power to heal, to bless, to deliver, to redeem, to... By His Grace Grace in the soul is a new life in the soul. I mean, a regenerate sinner becomes a living soul. Ephesians 2 verse 8 For it is by grace you have been saved. Through faith, this is not from yourself. Our spiritual life results from our union with Christ. Remember God the Spirit and those who worship Him, worship Him in spirit and truth. Our spiritual life results from our union with Christ Jesus. It is in him that we live, move, smile, half of our being. That's what I want to say by his grace. It appears that all is of grace because all our spiritual advantage are from God. Our faith our conversion, our internal salvation are not the mere product of any natural abilities. By His grace, By his grace. All these things are not brought to pass by anything done by us. It is not by power or might. All this teaching, preaching, healing, deliverance, Whatever you see is a product of God's grace. These things are not brought to pass by anything done by us. Therefore, all boasting is excluded. Tell your neighbor, all boasting is excluded. You a child of God, everything about you is a product of God's grace. After I must have done everything humanly possible, I must leave the issue with God. God must mark it. After struggling, after hard labor, God will still have to mark our work. That is grace. Because all our spiritual life resource from union with Christ. It is in Him that we live, we move, we think, we smile, we laugh, we joke, we walk, we sleep. Just think of By 
His grace. As a Christian, sometimes it seems as if we are troubled in every side. Under such situation, many cry unto God out of fear. Not out of faith, but out of fear. But God sometimes allow his people under such trying situation in order to humble them. In order to bring them to their knees. A man may be deformed in many parts of the body and yet be a friend of God. Physical deformity does not stop a man from being a friend of God. Don't let your situation The devil wants you to curse God while on that pain. The devil wants you to curse God while under your situation. That is why the devil takes delight in inflicting pain on people. But those who bless God in trouble through their sonship. Those who bless God in their trouble. Those who bless God in their situation. Those who bless God in their hardship. God never refuses mercy, but many forsake. He gives and he takes away at will. It is not our own hard work or skill that enriches us. No. He gives us to get wet. The sin that gives also takes away at his will. We must adore him all the time. And fall down to worship him. Hard time must not stop you, but encourage you to exercise your faith as a Christian. No one can be so poor as he was at birth, as he was when born. must hide not only the hands of God but also the name of God today people seek all other things and expect the kingdom to follow the man may be seeking body but yet be a candidate, a friend, and a favorite of Jesus. But today, when people are sick in body, when people are in trouble, they feel their prayer is not answered. 
Dios es tu recompensador. God is your reward. Dios es tu recompensador. God is your reward. Dios es tu recompensador. God is your reward. Dios es tu recompensador. In Jesus Christ's name. En el nombre de Jesucristo. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For those who are just coming or uh, knowing Jesus for the first time. Para aquellos que van a venir a Cristo Jesús por primera vez. I want to pray with you. Yo quiero orar con ustedes. Let me lead you to Jesus. Quiero conducirles a Jesús. Dear Lord. Querido Señor. I'm a sinner. Soy pecador. Come into my heart. Entra en mi corazón. Watch me with your precious blood. Lávame con tu sangre preciosa. Save my soul. Salva mi alma. I call your holy name. Llamo y clamo tu nombre santo. Jesus Christ. Jesucristo. Save my soul. Salva mi alma. I believe. Yo creo. You die in my que, place. Que moriste en mi lugar. I believe. Yo creo. You die in my place. Que moriste en mi lugar. I receive you, Lord. Te recibo, Señor. Into my life. En mi vida. I receive you, Lord. Te recibo, Señor. Into my life. En mi vida. Lord Jesus. Señor Jesús, make me a channel. Hazme un canal. Make me your channel. Hazme tu canal. A channel of shining light. Un canal de una vida que alumbra. Where there's darkness. Donde hay oscuridad. Make me your channel. Hazme tu canal. A channel of pardon. Un canal de perdón. Where there's injustice. Donde hay dolor. Make me your channel, Lord. Sé un canal, Señor. A channel of humility. Un canal de humildad. Where there's pride. Donde hay orgullo. Lord Jesus. Señor Jesús. I thank you. Te doy gracias. For my salvation. Por mi salvación. In Jesus Christ's name. En el nombre de Jesucristo. Let the people of God say Amen. Y el pueblo dice Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank, thank you very much. I'm still in the town. El nombre de Dios continúa ministrando sanidad, liberación y bendición en el poderoso nombre de nuestro Señor Jesucristo. Prepara tu corazón, mantén tu corazón conectado. Puedes ver el poder de la palabra, obrando a través del de siervo de Dios, el profeta Tibi Joshua. Puedes ver a Jesús trayendo sanidad, bendición, liberación a este estadio. Tú también puedes recibir, conéctate por fe. No hay distancia, no hay barrera para el mover de Dios. Spirit of God, El Espíritu Santo continúa obrando, fluyendo a través de su siervo ungido, el profeta Tibi Joshua. 
Abre tu corazón porque Jesús está aquí para sanarte, para liberarte, para bendecirte. Jesús conoce tu caso. Y vemos a esta mujer siendo liberada de todo yugo, de toda opresión, de toda cadena. Vemos el poder de liberación. Esta es la prueba, esta es la evidencia de que Jesucristo es el mismo ayer, hoy y siempre, de que su palabra está viva. Recuerda que cuando Jesús sana, sana eficazmente y para siempre. Dice que tiene problema en el estómago. Estamos en un tiempo de oración y liberación ministrado por el profeta Tibi Joshua. Estamos viendo la manifestación de espíritus demoníacos. Vemos a la persona ser salvas, libres, ser sanas por el poder, por la unción. Gracias Jesús. Vemos a esta mujer vomitando sustancias venenosas, siendo libre. El hombre de Dios está administrando liberación en el nombre de Jesucristo. Y esta mujer está siendo libre, libre de toda cadena, de todo yugo. Y vemos cómo esta mujer continúa vomitando sustancias venenosas. Ella está recibiendo su liberación en el nombre de Jesucristo. Estamos en la línea de oración en el Estadio Defensores del Chaco durante la cruzada del profeta Tibi Joshua en Paraguay. Allí donde estés, conéctate por fe. Así como esta mujer está sin libre. Mantén tu corazón conectado. Conéctate a la unción. Atrapa por fe. Y continuamos con la línea de oración aquí en el Estadio Defensores del Chaco, en Paraguay. Ahora puedes ser testigo del poder de Dios, obrando a través de su siervo ungido, el profeta Tibi Joshua. 
aquí está Jesús para sanarte, para liberarte, para bendecirte. ¿Quién vive? ¿Quién vive? ¿Quién vive? ¿Y a su nombre? ¡Cristo vive! ¡Cristo vive! ¡Cristo vive! ¡Vamos, díselo! Y si millones de esta generación tienen que creer, han de ver la evidencia de que Jesucristo es el mismo ayer, hoy y siempre. Estamos presenciando la evidencia. Hay poder en el nombre de Jesús. Gracias Señor Jesús Después de cuatro años Estoy liberada Señor Jesús Thank you Jesus I am the Libra Back to your seat, back to your seat. You are still very close. Please, Todavía back to your seat. Están demasiado Please. cerca. Por favor, rogamos, regresen a sus sillas, por favor. Entre más rápido lo hacen, más pronto comenzamos con la oración. Pónganse de pie, por favor. Pónganse de pie porque vamos a hacer una oración masiva en este momento. Todos pónganse de pie. Right now, open your lips and begin to confess God's word over your situation. En este momento, abran su boca, abran sus labios para confesar su situación delante del Señor. Confess God's word over your situation. Confiesen la palabra de Dios sobre su circunstancia. Confess God's word Confiesen. over your situation and He will do it on your behalf. Confiesen la palabra de Dios sobre su circunstancia y los Señor lo hará a favor de ustedes. Open your lips, begin to confess God's word. Abran sus labios, por favor, y comiencen a confesar, a declarar la palabra de Dios. Let the weak say I'm strong. Que la, la palabra dice soy fuerte. This is the God's word. Esta es la palabra de Dios. Let the sick say I'm healed. Que diga el enfermo estoy sano. This is God's word. Esta es la palabra de Dios. Let the poor say I'm blessed. Que el pobre diga soy bendecido. This is God's word. Esta es la palabra de Dios. Let the bondage say I'm free. Que el que está atado diga y declare estoy libre. This is God's word. Esta es la palabra de Dios. Confess them with all your heart, all your mind. Confiésalo con todo tu corazón y con toda tu mente. Begin to confess, begin to confess. Comience begin a confesar, confess. vamos, comiencen a confesar con sus labios. God's word say I'm here. Dice la palabra de Dios, estoy sano, soy sano. Let the weak say I'm strong. Que el débil diga, soy fuerte. Let the sick say I'm here. Que el enfermo diga, estoy sano. Let the poor say I'm blessed. Que el pobre diga, soy bendecido. Open your lips and begin to confess God's word to your life. Vamos, abran sus labios y comiencen a confesar, a declarar la palabra confess de Dios para God's su vida. Word. Confess God's word. Confiesen la palabra de Dios. As you confess, it happens. Y mientras usted confiesa, está sucediendo. In the name of Jesus. En el nombre de Jesucristo. I destroy every satanic assignment over you. Destruyo toda asignación satánica sobre tu vida. Begin to destroy every satanic assignment. Comience a destruir toda asignación satánica against you. Contra su vida. Every satanic assignment. Toda asignación satánica. Has Satan to remove his hands. Satanás remueve y quita tus manos. You devil. Diablo. Remove your hands. Quita tu tus manos. Remove your hand. Quita tus manos. Remove your hand. Quita tus manos. 
Open your lips, open your lips, open your lips. Abra sus labios, vamos, abra sus labios. Diablo. Open, open your lips, open your lips. Abran sus labios. Vamos. Open your lips. Abran su boca, abran sus labios, declaren, confiesen. You devil. Diablo. Remove your hands. Quita tus manos. From this man. De este hombre. Remove your hands. Remueve y quita from tus manos. From this woman. De esta mujer. You devil. Diablo. Remove your hands. Quita tus manos. From this devil, from this woman. De esta mujer. Open your lips, open your lips. Vamos, abra sus labios, abra sus labios. Ask the devil to remove his hand. Dígale al diablo que quite sus manos. Remove your hand. 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 Que quite sus manos. From my life. De mi vida. Remove your hand. Quita tus manos. From my life. De mi vida. Prayer, prayer, Vamos, prayer. Vamos, oración, oración, oración. Begin to bind your spirit to Christ's spirit. Comiencen a atar su espíritu al spirit. espíritu de Cristo. Bind your spirit. Ate su espíritu. I bind your spirit. Yo ato tu espíritu. To Christ's spirit. A que al espíritu Be de Cristo. In the name of Jesus. Sea atado en el nombre de Jesús. Be bind in the name of Jesus. Sea atado en el nombre de Jesús. Be bind in the name of Jesus. Sea atado en el nombre de Jesús. Be bind in the name of Jesus. Sea atado en el nombre de Jesús. Open your lips. Open your lips. Abra sus labios. Vamos. Abra sus labios. You devil over there, Diablo, allá. You devil over there, y Diablo, allá. I command you to leave my sister, Te ordeno leave my brother, que dejes a leave mi hermana, my people, a mi hermano, you devil, a mi gente, you Diablo, devil. Diablo, leave my people, suelta a mi gente. In the name of Jesus. En el nombre de Jesús. I command healing. Ordeno sanidad. On you. Sobre tu vida. Now. Ahora. Be healed. Se sano. I command healing. Ordeno, ordeno sanidad. On you. Sobre tu vida. Be healed. Se sano. Place your hand wherever you have the pain. Ponga su mano donde I tiene command healing. El dolor o el problema. Declaro sanidad you. sobre tu vida. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Se sano en el nombre de Jesús. The cameras check the back. People are over there. Cameras, right on, on their on the on their wheel. Jesus, Jesus, heal every disease. Sana toda enfermedad. Every infirmity. Toda enfermedad. Be healed. Se sano. Every infirmity. Toda enfermedad. Be healed. Se sano. Puede localizarte. 
Heal every wound in the name of Jesus. Sana toda herida en el nombre de Jesús. Heal every wound in the name of Jesus. Sana toda herida en el nombre de Jesús. Heal every wound in the name of Jesus. Sana toda herida en el nombre de Jesús. Heal every wound in the name of Jesus. Sana toda herida en el nombre de Jesús. Ya en las graderías que todavía está poseído. Yo le hablo a ese demonio. Le ordeno que te suelte en el nombre de Jesús. Ese demonio en ti. Sal. 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 En este momento estamos viendo la manifestación durante la oración masiva con el profeta Tibi Joshua. I say, leave this man in the name of Jesus. Ordeno, sal de este hombre en el nombre de Jesús. Remove your hand from this man. Quita tus manos de este hombre. Remove your hand from this man. Quita tus manos de este hombre. Remove your hand from this woman. Quita tus manos de esta mujer. In the name of Jesus Christ. En el nombre de Jesucristo. Bring her out. Bring her out. Traiganla por favor. Traiganla por favor. In the name of Jesus Christ. En el nombre de Jesucristo. Observen estas personas, están recibiendo su sanidad durante la oración masiva con el profeta Tibi Joshua en la cruzada en Paraguay. Así que así donde usted se encuentre, puede recibir su sanidad y su liberación en el nombre de Jesús. Observe esta mujer se está removiendo esa rodillera. Ella ha recibido su sanidad en el nombre de Jesucristo. Right now, give thanks to God for your healing. In este momento, por favor, dele gracias for your a Dios. deliverance. Give thanks to Him. Dele gracias a Dios por su sanidad y por Wave su your liberación. Hands, give thanks to Him. Wave, open your lips and give thanks Abra to God. Abra sus labios y dele gracias a Dios. I can see you being healed. Puedo ver que está siendo I sanado. I see you being delivered. Que ha sido liberado. Give thanks to God. Give dele, thanks to God. Dele gracias a Dios. Vamos, dele gracias a Dios. Give thanks to Him. Give thanks to Him. Dele gracias a Él. Dele gracias a Él. I see you being delivered. Veo que ha sido liberado. I see you being healed. Yo veo que ha sido sanado. Joyfully give thanks to him. Con gozo dele gracias al Señor. You shall be healed. Será sanado. Open your lips, open your lips. Abra sus labios, vamos, abra sus labios, abra su boca. In Jesus Christ's name. En el nombre de Jesucristo. Right now, let us pray for our leaders. En este momento, vamos a orar por nuestros líderes. We have political leaders. Tenemos líderes políticos. Christian leader. Líderes cristianos. Religious leader. Líderes religiosos. And all professionals. Y profesionales. Gente right profesional. now, join me in prayer. Quiero que se unan conmigo en oración. Hallelujah. 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 The book of James 1 verse 5. Santiago 1 verso 5. If any one of us lack wisdom, si alguno le hace falta o necesita sabiduría, he must ask of God. Debe pedirle a Dios. Right now on behalf of our leaders. Y en este momento de parte de nuestros líderes, our political leaders, líderes políticos, our law makers, los que hacen las our leyes, Christian leaders, líderes cristianos our religious leader, líderes religiosos and all professionals, y todos los profesionales we pray for wisdom, oramos por sabiduría we pray for discernment, oramos por discernimiento we pray for knowledge, oramos por conocimiento knowledge, conocimiento for making every decision, para toda decisión que debe tomar en el nombre de Jesucristo
knowledge, conocimiento, wisdom, sabiduría. We have pastor conference and uh, I'm still in the town. Muchas gracias, yo todavía permanezco en la ciudad. Tenemos una conferencia para pastores. So those of you that uh, maybe you just learning that uh, a, a prophet is in the town and you want to meet me so we, we have pastor conference así que para aquellos de ustedes que se dieron cuenta hasta ahora que hay profeta en la ciudad tenemos yeah. esa conferencia de pastores si usted quiere ir a verme allí and I want to tell you that uh, this is my second home y quiero decirles que este Paraguay es mi segundo my second home. este es mi segundo hogar Paraguay es mi segundo hogar You you see me more. Me van a ver más a menudo. And and that your testimony will stand. Y su testimonio se va a establecer firme. I want to meet the usher, choristers. I want to meet you before I leave the country. Quiero reunirme. And I want to meet all the workers. Quiero reunirme our, con los our, our organizer that will be meeting for all of us. Con all los together. Ujieres, los coristas, los organizadores, todos los que trabajaron, quiero tener la oportunidad de reunirme con ustedes antes de irme. And uh, those who want to come for the, for the meeting, you are welcome. Y los que quieren llegar a la reunión de pastores el día lunes son yeah. bienvenidos. You don't need to be an usher or chorister to come to the meeting. You no, are Welcome as as I uh, mean as long as you are you are you are in a uh, part of the family. No tiene que ser ujier ni corista para ir a esa reunión. Usted es bienvenido siempre y cuando sea parte de la familia. So first of all, let us thank God for the rain for stopping the rain. For little time, we are able to finish our assignment. Vamos a darle gracias al Señor por detener la lluvia, porque por lo menos pudimos terminar nuestra asignación el día de hoy. Any moment from now, cualquier momento a partir de ahora, you should expect rain. Puede esperar lluvia. So, and I know you will get home before rain. I say you will get home before rain. Y yo sé que ustedes van a llegar a la casa antes de que comience a llover. Any moment from now, rain. Cualquier momento a partir de ahora pueda llover de nuevo. Muchas gracias, muchas gracias. So our coordinator will organize the time and when we shall meet. Please, I want to meet you. Give you handshake. Have dinner with you. Thank you. El líder de coro van a establecer una fecha, un momento para reunirse con él para que puedan tener una cena juntos. Muchas gracias. Profeta TV Joshua. Prophet TV Joshua. En representación del Comité Nacional TV Joshua Paraguay. In representation of the National Committee TV Joshua Paraguay. Le queremos entregar. We want to give you una plaqueta. A recognition. En reconocimiento. This is a recognition. De lo que usted ha hecho. Of what you have done. Por nuestro país. For our country. Le queremos decir we want to tell you que estamos muy agradecidos. That we are very thankful. Le amamos en el amor de Cristo we Jesús. We love you in Jesus Christ. Reciba love. esto con el cariño de todo Paraguay. Please receive this with the love of all Paraguay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Aleluya. Yes, I I want to dedicate all the award and the honor given to me to my people in Paraguay. You the dedicar- ladies and my people generally in Paraguay. I de- I dedicate this award and all other award to them. Yo Thank you. God este bless you. Reconocimiento y todos los reconocimientos que he recibido quiero dedicarlos a la gente de Paraguay. Muchas gracias.
Babysitter, thank you. And do the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ always brings controversy and argument. Kehadiran Yesus Kristus selalu membawa kontroversi dan argumentasi. In that John 7 verse 12. Dalam, it is clear dalam Johannes, uh, of the Gatakan, that the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ bahwa kehadiran Tuhan kita, Yesus Christus, during his earthly ministry always brought about controversy and the argument. Bahwa di dalam pelayanannya selalu membawa kontroversi dan argumentasi kepada banyak orang. Because people did not understand him and Naturally, what people do not understand, they call names. And what people understand, they destroy. Uh, dan ini semua terjadi, mengatakan, kok banyak ribut di sini, kok seperti ini, kenapa ini terjadi. Itu semua jelas karena itu pelayanannya Tuhan membawa kontroversi. Orang-orang yang tidak mengerti, sangat jelas dikatakan mereka memanggil namanya. Tetapi orang yang mengerti justru menghancurkan dia. That was the situation that brought Nicodemus. 
Itulah situasi yang membawa Nicodemus untuk ketemu Yesus. To Jesus. Kepada Yesus. He did not want to sit somewhere and hear this or that. Dia tidak mau hanya sekedar mendengar keterangan eh, seperti ini, seperti itu. Dia tidak mau hanya puas seperti itu saja. And then come to a hasty conclusion. Sampai dia datang kepada about Yesus Jesus. dan mengambil satu konklus- konklusi mengenai Yesus. He now came to Jesus. Karena dia datang kepada Yesus. Thank you for your coming. Terima kasih buat kehadiran saudara. I went round to see the move of God and the people that are waiting. Saya datang melihat di sekeliling tempat ini bahkan di luar ruangan umum ini melihat orang-orang yang sakit bagaimana mereka sedang menunggu menantikan satu harapan dari Tuhan. After looking around, I came to a well in the Bible which says people do not seek the face of God. Except when they are in great need. Kecuali kalau mereka dalam suatu kebutuhan yang sangat besar, karena mereka membutuhkan. When you look round, kalau saudara melihat sekeliling, you will probably not see some of your friends that came here yesterday and gave testimony. Uh, mungkin saja saudara ada di sini tidak uh, melihat. Apa yang terjadi di mana orang-orang yang memberikan kesaksian tadi di sini? But when they were in great need, they came here. Kalau mereka sungguh membutuhkan suatu kebutuhan yang besar, baru mereka datang. Now that their needs are met, nah sekarang kebutuhan mereka telah dipenuhi. They are too busy. Sebab mereka terlalu sibuk to come here. Untuk datang kemari. Human beings. Are rebellious. Manusia biasanya adalah uh, uh, rebellion, artinya melawan. Thank you once again for your coming here. Terima kasih sekali lagi untuk kehadiran saudara datang. Amen. Thank you. One thing I want you to know. Satu hal yang saya ingin saudara tahu. We cannot save ourselves. Kita tidak dapat menyelamatkan diri kita sendiri. But we can destroy ourselves. Tapi kita bisa menghancurkan diri kita sendiri. How much we need God. Betapa pentingnya kita membutuhkan Tuhan. That will be the title of our message. Kita Tell your neighbor menit. how much we need God. Katakan kepada tetangga saudara betapa pentingnya kita membutuhkan Tuhan. As any Christian and he will tell you that he needs God. Tanyalah kepada setiap orang Kristen dan dia akan mengatakan kepada saudara bahwa dia membutuhkan Tuhan. Certainly we all need God. Sudah barang tentu kita semua membutuhkan Tuhan. But we don't know how much we really need him. Tapi kita tidak tahu betapa pentingnya betapa banyaknya kita membutuhkan dia. Tell your neighbor I know you need God. Katakan kepada tetangga saudara, saya but tahu kau you don't Tuhan, know. Tapi kau tidak tahu how much you need Him. Betapa besarnya yang kau membutuhkan Dia. Tell your neighbor. Tell Ayo, your neighbor. katakan kepada tetangga saudara. I know you need God. Saya tahu kau membutuhkan Tuhan. That is why you are here. Makanya kita ada di sini. But you don't know. Tapi kau tidak tahu how much you need Him. Betapa banyaknya kita, betapa pentingnya kita membutuhkan Dia. That is why we have certain occasions. Itu sebabnya kita membutuhkan uh, kesempatan-kesempatan tertentu for prayer untuk kita berdoa. Especially in times of particular need. Khususnya untuk hal-hal yang secara khusus kita inginkan. When we look at the book of Hebrews. Kalau kita melihat kitab Ibrani 11 verse 6. Kitab Ibrani pasal 11 ayat yang ke-6. But without faith it is impossible to please God. 
Ibrani 11 ayat 6 dikatakan bahwa e, tetapi tanpa iman tidak mungkin orang berkenan kepada Allah. What does this mean? This means it is not possible for you to know how much you need God without faith. Itu sebabnya sangat penting bagi saudara untuk mengetahui berapa banyaknya kita membutuhkan Tuhan. It takes faith to realize how much we need God. Itu sebabnya membutuhkan iman kalau kita menginginkan berapa banyak kita memerlukan Tuhan. This is what Paul said in that book of Philippians. Itu sebabnya Paulus berkata di dalam kitab Filipi. For verse 13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Dikatakan, aku dapat melakukan segala sesuatu di dalam Kristus yang memberikan kekuatan kepadaku. According to Paul, menurut Paulus, in him we live. Di dalam dia, Tuhan That hidup. is, in Christ we live. Di dalam Kristus, dia hidup. In Christ we move. Di dalam Kristus, kita bergerak. And in him we have our being. Dan di dalam dia kita memiliki segala keberadaan kita. This is what Paul meant when he said, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Inilah berdasarkan pengalaman Paulus yang akhirnya dia bisa berkata, Aku dapat melakukan segala sesuatu melalui Kristus yang memberikan kekuatan kepadaku. If we know how much we need God, kalau kita tahu berapa banyak kita membutuhkan Tuhan, we will not come before Him. Saudara tidak perlu datang dia. And begin to ask for healing, dan mulai tanya untuk kesembuhan, blessing, berkat, prosperity, kemakmuran, and delight, dan semua yang lainnya. In Him, di dalam Dia, we have access to all we need to live for Him here and now. Akses kepada apa saja untuk bisa kita hidup sekarang ini dan di dalam dia. Tell your neighbor. Katakan kepada tetanggamu. You need God. Engkau membutuhkan Tuhan. Ayo But katakan. You don't know how much you need him. Tetapi engkau tidak tahu berapa banyak engkau membutuhkan dia. Tell your neighbor you need God. Katakan kepada tetanggamu engkau But membutuhkan you Tuhan. You don't know. Tapi engkau tidak tahu how much berapa you banyak need him. engkau membutuhkan dia. Let me take you to the book of Daniel. Mari saya bawa saudara kepada kitab Daniel. 6 verse 1. It pleased Darius to set over the kingdom 120 satras. To be over the kingdom. Verse 2. And over these three governors of whom Daniel was one. That the satraps might have account to them. Di dalam kitab Daniel pasal 6 ayat yang pertama dan kedua, Darius orang media menerima pemerintahan ketika ia berumur 62 tahun. Lalu berkenanlah Darius mengangkat 120 wakil-wakil raja atas kerajaannya. Mereka akan ditempatkan di seluruh kerajaan. Take your time to read from verse 1 to 28. Uh, dari Daniel pasal yang pertama dan juga nanti sampai Daniel 6 ayat 1 sampai 30 saudara perlu membacanya nanti. If we consider the case of Daniel, kalau saudara mempertimbangkan kasusnya Daniel, his life, kehidupannya, his origin, dan adalah his uh, character, yaitu karakternya dia, his nature, dan juga mengenai kesabarannya, and his encounter with Darius adalah tadinya menghadapi uh, kebimbangan-kebimbangan. Daniel knew early enough in his life. Daniel mengetahui sejak awal di dalam mula-mula kehidupannya. How much he needed God. Betapa besarnya dia membutuhkan Tuhan. To do everything. Untuk melakukan segala sesuatu. Is consistency. Bahwa konsistensinya Daniel, ketetapannya Daniel. And faithfulness. Dan uh, kesetiaannya was something every one of us to emulate. Adalah sesuatu di mana seluruh kita perlu mencontohnya. If you say you know how much you need God, if I say I know how much I need God. Kalau saudara katakan uh, betapa, saya tahu betapa besarnya saya membutuhkan Tuhan dan saya katakan betapa besarnya saya membutuhkan Tuhan. I will not have 
certain occasions for prayer. Saya tidak perlu membutuhkan waktu tertentu, kesempatan tertentu untuk berdoa. If I say I know how much I need God, kalau saya uh, tahu betapa besarnya saya membutuhkan Tuhan, I will know that I need God to do everything. Saya akan tahu bahwa saya tidak perlu memikirkan apa-apa, apapun. To talk, untuk mengatakan, to look, untuk melakukan, and to do everything. Untuk melakukan apapun, tidak perlu berdoa. Tell your neighbor. Katakan kepada tetanggamu, Tuhan. Do you know how much you need God? Betapa pentingnya kita membutuhkan Tuhan. As your neighbor once again. Ayo katakan kepada tetanggamu lagi, betapa perlunya kita membutuhkan Tuhan. A break in prayer, artinya kalau ada terobosan dalam doa, is a break in faith. Adalah memiliki arti ada terobosan di dalam iman. A break in faith, dalam terobosan dalam iman, will mean a break with God. Artinya ada terobosan bersama dengan Tuhan. I need God. Saya membutuhkan Tuhan. But I don't know how much I need Him. Tetapi saya tidak tahu betapa banyaknya saya membutuhkan Tuhan. Tell your neighbor, I need God. Katakan kepada tetangga saudara, saya membutuhkan Tuhan. Saya But membutuhkan I don't Tuhan. know. Tapi saya tidak tahu. How much I need Him. Betapa besarnya Once saya again, tell your neighbor, I need Ayo, God. Katakan kepada tetangga saya lagi. Daniel. Daniel. The secret of his strength. Pada kekuatannya bahkan rahasia daripada kekuatannya was his consistency in prayer. Adalah kekonsistensinya di dalam doa, artinya kesetiaannya dalam doa. I mean he was constant in prayer. Artinya dia tetap selalu berdoa. He was constant in his faith in God. Dia selalu tetap di dalam uh, imannya kepada Tuhan. I mean when the going is well good, Jesus is the Lord. Biasanya kalau semua ber, ada yang baik-baik, Yesus -baik, adalah Tuhan. When the going was tough, Jesus is the Lord. Bahkan waktu uh, semua dalam keadaan top, Yesus adalah Tuhan. Because his enemies, karena musuh-musuhnya, lost no time. Tidak ada waktu in plotting against him. Untuk uh, berhadapan dengan dia. He himself lost no time. Dia sendiri tidak membutuhkan waktu in committing his way, his life. Untuk menyerahkan hidupnya, uh, jalannya to God through prayer. Kepada Tuhan melalui doa. Tell your neighbor, my enemy saya loses no time membutuhkan waktu in plotting against me. Untuk melawan saya, you should to lose no time. Juga saudara membutuhkan waktu in committing yourself untuk menyerahkan diri saudara to God kepada Tuhan through prayer melalui doa. I will take you to the book of John 5. Saya akan bawa saudara kepada Yohanes pasal yang kelima. 14. Yohanes 5 ayat 14. Afterward, Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, See, you have been made well. See no more. Kemudian Yesus bertemu dengan dia dalam bait Allah, lalu berkata kepadanya, Engkau telah sembuh. Sekali lagi, engkau telah sembuh, jangan berbuat dosa lagi. What does this mean? Apa artinya ini? This means the man in question. Ini artinya membutuhkan pertanyaan. We still need Jesus after the healing. Bahwa kita tetap membutuhkan Yesus meskipun kita telah sembuh. Tell your neighbor, I need God Katakan kepada tetangga more saudara, in good health than in sickness. Katakan kepada tetangga saudara, saya tetap membutuhkan Tuhan lebih daripada uh, waktu saya sembuh daripada dari saya sakit. More than yesterday, I need you more. More than words can say, I need you more than ever before. I need you more.
What does this mean? Ya, apa artinya ini? When you are sick, pada waktu saudara sakit, you are less likely to be persecuted than when you are healed. Artinya, saudara sa- lebih uh, kondisinya lebih jelek daripada saudara sehat sembuh. When you are poor, pada waktu saudara miskin, you are less likely to face persecution than when you are. Blessed. Itu rasa saat di mana saudara merasa bahwa saudara dalam aniaya daripada saudara kaya. This is why Jesus said to him, "See, you are well again." Itu sebabnya Yesus berkata, "Lihat, engkau telah sembuh kembali." This means you will still need me after the healing. Artinya engkau masih tetap membutuhkan saya setelah engkau sembuh. Tell your neighbor. I will still need Jesus. Katakan kepada tetanggamu, aku tetap membutuhkan Yesus. More. Lebih. After my healing. Setelah saya sembuh. I will still need Jesus. Aku tetap dalam Yesus. More. After my blessing. Aku tetap membutuhkan Yesus lebih. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This means Jesus is more concerned with our future than he is with our present state. Itu artinya Yesus lebih memperhatikan ketetapan kita untuk tetap membutuhkan dia daripada situasi kita yang ada. Tell your neighbor, Jesus is more concerned. Katakan kepada tanganmu, Yesus lebih peduli with my future dari masa depan saya than he is with my present situation. Daripada kondisi sekarang ini. Because of our limitation in the things of the spirit. Karena keterbatasan kita di dalam pekerjaan roh, we believe that we only need Jesus when we are in need of healing. Maka kita percaya kita hanya membutuhkan Yesus pada waktu kita membutuhkan dari Dia. We believe we only need Jesus when we are in need of blessing. Kita tahu bahwa kita percaya kepada Yesus pada waktu kita membutuhkan berkat dalam hidup kita. Tell your neighbor, far be it. Katakan lebih daripada itu. Katakan, lebih daripada itu. You need Jesus more even after your healing. Saudara tetap membutuhkan Tuhan lebih lagi daripada saudara sudah disembuhkan. Healing and blessing uh, kesembuhan dan berkat attract hatred and persecution. Adalah bagian daripada uh, kebencian dan juga aniaya. When you receive healing, it attracts persecution. Saudara, kalau saudara menerima kesembuhan, itu adalah bagian daripada aniaya. That is why you need God more. Itu sebabnya saudara membutuhkan Tuhan lebih lagi. In good health. Dalam tubuh yang sehat. 
than when you need him daripada, in sickness. Daripada saudara membutuhkan dia pada waktu saudara sakit. Tell your neighbor, I need Yesus, Jesus. Saya membutuhkan Yesus more lebih in good health dalam keadaan sehat than I need him daripada waktu saya in sickness. Dia, waktu saya sakit. I need God more saya dia, butuh dia lebih in lagi blessing dalam keadaan berkat than I need him daripada, in poverty. Dalam pada waktu saya lagi uh, miskin. Now it is time for healing. You will still need Jesus more. If you are to maintain the miracle, if you are to enjoy the blessing you are about to receive, you must make God's way the standard for your life. Kalau saudara mau menikmati berkat, menikmati mujizat dan kesembuhan, saudara harus tetap belajar berdasarkan jalannya Tuhan. Because you are going to be healed by Christ's way. And when you are healed by Christ, so you must be ruled by His will. Ya, sebab saudara nanti akan menerima mujizat kesembuhan dari Tuhan, maka saudara harus berjalan sesuai dengan aturannya dan jalannya Tuhan. So, are you ready to be ruled? Saudara siap untuk memerang? Let me hear your voice. Rise up, rise up. Ayo. Panggil berdiri. You ready to be ruled by His will? Lift up your voice and ask Jesus. Enter my soul, Lord, and make my heart ready. Katakan Tuhan, jadikan hati saya siap. To live for You. Untuk hidup di dalam Engkau. Say, enter my soul. Datanglah ke dalam jiwaku. Lord Jesus. Tuhan Yesus. Come into my life. Datanglah ke dalam kehidupanku. Come into my life. Datanglah ke dalam kehidupanku. Come into my life. Datanglah dalam kehidupanku. And make my heart. Dan jamalah hatiku. Ready to live for You. Untuk bisa hidup dalam Engkau. Pardon him, mercy. Uh, uh, belas kasihan yang membawa pengampunan. Make way for healing mercy. Uh, membuat jalan kepada kesembuhan dengan belas kasihan. If you pray for healing, kalau saudara berdoa untuk kesembuhan, without first obtaining pardon, tanpa sebelumnya saudara untuk diampuni, your sickness will not yet. To your prayer, maka kesembuhan saudara tidak akan terjawab dengan doa saudara. Your situation, kondisi saudara, situasi saudara, will not yield to your prayer. Tidak akan berhubungan dengan doa saudara. And when your situation is not yield to your prayer, sebab look inwards. Sebab apabila kita ingin doa kita berhubungan dengan jawapan doa kita, kita harus mengaku dari dalam hati kita. Right now, lift up your voice once again. Sekarang angkat saudara-saudara sekali lagi. Jesus has promised. Yesus telah berjanji to heal you. Untuk menyembuhkan saudara. He has promised to heal your lung. Dia telah berjanji menyembuhkan bahkan hidup saudara. If only you come to Him. Kalau hanya saudara datang saja kepada Dia. With humility and broken heart. Dengan kerendahan hati dan hati yang hancur. His promise is. Janjinya adalah I will heal you. Aku akan menyembuhkan engkau. His promise is Janjinya adalah I will save you. Aku akan menyelamatkan engkau. His promise is Janjinya adalah I will deliver you. Aku akan melepaskan engkau. His promise is Janjinya adalah I will free you. 
Aku akan membebaskan engkau. If you come to him kalau, in humility. Kalau engkau datang kepada dia dengan merendahkan diri. In prayer. Dalam doa. And broken hearted. Dengan hati yang hancur. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Son of God healed and still heals all manners. Of sickness and disease. Matthew 4 verse 23. way for healing mercy. The Son of God is about to work among us. And when he does, that healing will happen. a prayer without a miracle. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Matthew 5 verse 8 Jesus, 
we come to you with humility and broken heart. Tuhan kami datang kepadamu merendahkan diri dengan hati yang hancur. Hear our prayer, Lord. Dengarlah suara kami dan doa kami, Tuhan. Hear your children and save their soul. Sembuhkanlah jiwa dan raga kami, Tuhan. Let their sickness yield to their prayer. Biarlah doa mereka engkau dengar ya Tuhan. Let their situation yield to their prayer today. Biarlah situasi mereka berhubungan dengan doa mereka. In Jesus Christ name we pray. Di dalam nama Tuhan Yesus kami berdoa. Thank you Lord. Kami menyambut anda di uh, acara KKR TV Joshua uh, ini di Jakarta Indonesia. Bisa dikasih tahu apa nama? Kana, keluar, kana, keluar. Kana, in the name of Jesus, Christ. keluar dalam nama Yesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Keluar dalam nama Yesus. Right now, open your mouth and begin to speak. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ayo sekarang semua buka mulut saudara. Mulai berbicara. Buka mulut semua. Speak, speak out, speak out, speak out. Ayo bicara, bicara. Berdoa maksudnya. Berdoa, berdoa. Speak out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Ayo berbicara kepada Tuhan Yesus Kristus yang dahsyat. Begin to speak out. Mulai bicara, berdoa cepat. Out, contrary to spirit. Out. Segala roro minta keluar. Out, keluar. Out, keluar. Out, keluar. Out, keluar. Speak out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Ayo berbicara kepada Tuhan Yesus Kristus yang dahsyat. Jesus Christ. Come on, come on. Mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ.
Ditaruh di tempat yang sakit, kami akan datang sana. Who are you? Siapa kau? Who are you? Who are you? Siapa kau? Dalam nama Tuhan Yesus Kristus yang sehat. Keluar. Keluar. Mighty name Welcome to the Indonesia Crusade in Jakarta here with Prophet TB Joshua in Jesus' name. Please tell us your name, your age, and the country you're from. Selamat datang di acara KKR Indonesia bersama Nabi TB Joshua di Jakarta, Indonesia di dalam nama Yesus. Tolong perkenalkan diri Anda dengan menyebutkan nama, umur, dan negara dari mana Anda berasal. Saya nama Rudi Sugiharto ya, 60 tahun dari Indonesia. His name is Rudi Sugiharto. He... He is 60 years old and he's from Indonesia. Can you tell us what is the problem that has brought you to the Indonesian Crusade with Prophet TB Joshua today? Bisakah anda memberitahukan kepada kami apa permasalahan yang tadinya membawa Bapak datang ke acara KKR Indonesia bersama Nabi TB Joshua hari ini? Selama empat tahun saya nggak bisa jalan kaki, bangun juga susah, terus tangannya kaku. Empat tahun ini saya kaki nggak bisa jalan, kaki lemes. Tangan kaku nggak berasa, kaki juga mati nggak berasa. Mata, mata kurang lihat lagi. He said that he could not walk for four years, and also the hand could not feel anything, and the eyes could not see very well. And can you tell us after Prophet TB Joshua prayed for you, what happened? Dan setelah Nabi TB Joshua berdoa untuk anda, apa yang terjadi? Sejak saya dipegang sama TB Joshua ya, itu saya tangan merasa nggak 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 kesemutan, mata bagus, penglihatan tajam, otak nggak mabok, kakinya lemas hilang, langsung bisa jalan lah. After the prayer, he he can walk and he can feel with his hands and the eyes could can see very well. Glory be to Jesus Christ. So Jesus Christ has healed you through his anointed servant, Prophet TB Joshua. He said before he could not walk, but now he can walk. He had no feeling in his hands, but now he can feel very well. After me, doa ulangi setelah saya. Thank you, Jesus. Terima kasih, Yesus. I believe you are the Son of God. Aku percaya engkau adalah anak Allah. I believe you die on the cross for me. Aku percaya engkau mati di salib untuk saya. And you rose again. Dan bangkit kembali. As from now on. Dan mulai sekarang ini. I'm yours. Aku adalah milikmu. Enter my soul. Masuklah ke dalam jiwaku. Come into my life. Masuklah ke dalam hidupku. And make my heart. Dan jamalah hatiku. Ready. Siapkan hatiku untuk siap. To follow you. Untuk mengikuti engkau. Now and forevermore. Dan sekarang sampai selama lamanya. Thank you, Jesus. Terima kasih, Yesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As 
As the Prophet was slowly making his way out of the stadium, hundreds of people thronged to touch the man of God. This is an expression of the new understanding they had received from the man of God's message titled, How Much We Need God. With such a mammoth crowd surrounding Prophet TV Joshua, it seems they don't want to let him go, and they're not about to go either, as many are still reaching out for a touch and using every proper means to gain the Prophet's attention before he leaves. Though the crusade has finished, the end has not come. God continues to work through his anointed servant, Prophet TB Joshua, and miracles happen. The Prophet is still shaking hands, still praying for people, and still showing compassion to people. This mother realizes that mercy to the children is mercy to the parents and favors to our loved ones and favors to us as she takes the opportunity to meet with a man of God. Marking the last day of the Indonesian crusade with Prophet T.B. Joshua at the stadium, the man of God leaves the stadium, but as he says, when you have Jesus in your heart, he remains in your heart. We are Bernard and Belinda Mulder. We are pastors from Christian Family Church in South Africa, and we are attending the crusade in Jakarta, Indonesia. We've traveled as partners of Emmanuel TV to be a part of what's happening here. The prophet always says that one life that we've got to live for Christ and that that life is so dear. And uh, we've taken the time just to be a part of what's happening here and truly been blessed with what's happening here. The signs, the wonder, wonders that's been happening here, crippled people, lame people that's been walking, deliverance that's taken place here. So we are just extremely blessed to be a part of what's happening here.
Hi, I'm Belinda Mulder and I'm um, Baynard's wife and we're from Pretoria, South Africa and we just want to say that to change your life radically, just get take that step of faith and climb on the aeroplane and come to a crusade. It changes your life forever. Thank you. I'm Yanni Grobler uh, from South Africa. It is a wonder, it is amazing to see what God is doing. Where the prophet moves, just pass a person, the person starts to manifest and the demonic power is coming out. They are no match for the power of God. A lot of people uh, get out of their wheelchairs. We praise the Lord to see the anointing that Prophet Tibi Yosha is God and that the Wati is doing in the world, all over the world. I am Lamula Mabunda from South Africa. I am a partner of Emmanuel TV. The crusade has been excellent, marvelous. The message from the prophet was basic to the point, excellent message. And from the message, then came the time of deliverance. People delivered from demons, people delivered from sicknesses, people standing up and walking from the wheelchairs. It was just awesome. We know there are other partners that are out there that would have want, liked to be here. Join Prophet T.B. Joshua wherever he is going and witness the might of God. This was an experience that cannot be forgotten. Thank you. My name is Mamsi. I'm from South Africa. Uh, the message that we have received here, it's so awesome. It has made my spiritual life to go higher and higher. Thank you. So we rise up and then we start prayer. After the mass prayer, I can now move and touch you as the spirit that I I want to remind you once again, what we are aim, we want to achieve. If what is possible for you is not possible for me, I need to remove the restriction. How do we start? We start by asking for forgiveness first. When we sin, we come short of his grace. And when we come short of his grace, everything that makes meaning in us is gone. Now, we want Jesus Christ to restrain us from sin. That we may enjoy the joy of salvation. Prayer. Restrain me from sin. Restrain me from sin. Open your heart. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. May the spirit who dwells in our heart Give us utterances. May the spirit who dwells in our heart be the voice of our prayer. Prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Let the people of God say amen. amen. Hallelujah. God opens the window of heaven to those who open their heart to him. I want you to open your heart. God opens the windows of heaven to those who open their heart to him. Open your heart. Open your heart. Thank you, Lord. Thank 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, your heart needs to be sanctified before the utterances. The Lord will give you utterances today. Yes, you will receive utterances from heaven. Come, Holy Spirit, into my heart and sanctify it. Prayer. Come, Holy Spirit, into my heart. Come, Holy Spirit, into my heart. Come! In Jesus' name, people of God say, Amen. People of God say, Amen. Hallelujah. Your mind, your heart need to be sanctified before you receive that touch. We want to sanctify our mind, our spirit, our soul before we receive a touch of, from heaven. It should be ready for a touch. Now, let us sanctify our mind as the spirit of God are in. Come, Holy Spirit. Come into my heart. Come into my heart and sanctify him. Prayer. Come into my heart. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. So we rise up and then we start prayer. After the mass prayer, I can now move and touch you as the spirit that I, I want to remind you once again. What we are aim, we want to achieve. If what is possible for you is not possible for me, I need to re remove the restriction. How do we start? We start by asking for forgiveness first. When we sin, we come short of His grace. And when we come short of his grace, everything that makes meaning in us is gone. Now, we want Jesus Christ to restrain us from sin. That we may enjoy the joy of salvation. Prayer. Restrain me from sin. Restrain me from sin. Open your heart. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. May the spirit who dwells in our heart Give us utterances. May the spirit who dwells in our heart be the voice of our prayer. Prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Let the people of God say amen. Hallelujah. God opens the window of heaven to those who open their heart to him. I want you to open your heart. God opens the windows of heaven to those who open their heart to him. Open your heart. Open your heart. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, your heart needs to be sanctified before the utterances. The Lord will give you utterances today. Yes, you receive utterances from heaven. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, into my heart and sanctify it. Prayer. Come, Holy Spirit, into my heart. Come, Holy Spirit, into my heart. Come, in Jesus' name. People of God say, Amen. People of God say, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Your mind, your heart needs to be sanctified before you receive that touch. We want to sanctify our mind, our spirit, our soul before we receive a touch of, from heaven. It should be ready for a touch. Now, let us sanctify our mind as the Spirit of God are in. Come, Holy Spirit. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. And sanctify him. Prayer. Come into my heart. into my heart. Come 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 into my heart. In Jesus' name we pray. virgin shall be with child, and will the son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, meaning God with us. Jesus Christ to empowers his followers to change the world today. Distance is not a barrier to God's move. Emmanuel TV, God with us. Faith, hope, and love. Love is the greatest. We have prayed and hoped. But the thing that is yet to be applied is love. In the first Corinthians 13, 13, there are only three things on this earth that will last. Faith, hope, and love. The greatest is love. Since the greatest is love, we need to make the greatest sacrifice. Jesus asked Peter three times, Do you love me? Peter answered, you know that I love you. Three times, Jesus responded by giving Peter a responsibility. Keep my lambs. Shepherd my sheep. And keep my sheep. 
before we can be responsible to Jesus, it must be because of our love for him. If you help your fellow brother, then you help Jesus. If you do your fellow brother, then you do Jesus. If you care for your fellow brother, then you care for Jesus. If you ignore your fellow brother, then you ignore Jesus. This was asked Peter, one of the most significant and penetrating in fact, one of the most dangerous questions ever asked. Do you love me? Jesus asked Peter three times. Do you love me? He asked him this question three times before giving him the commission to chepper his sheep. Whether you are educated or not, whether you are a farmer or a professor, there is hope. The hope loving Jesus in other words loving others Jesus repeated the question so that the concept to be crystal clear do you love me Christian, the association prepare them for extraordinary service. Tell your neighbor, Christian, their situation prepare them for extraordinary service. That is, the more that situation, the more you draw close to God. The more that pain, the more you draw closer, you fast, you pray. The more that trouble, the more your attention for God. For our faith to be consistent, it must be based on something more stable than feelings. You need no more than open the eyes of your faith. You cannot see enough until the eyes of your faith are opened. When we are in the dark, we are likely to be frightening. This is why Christian today, without our fighting within our fears. Before you can become a Christian, you must be adopted by the Holy Ghost. Overcome your doubt. If you are genuinely seeking salvation from God, in the midst of doubt, God will not mind. 
because at the end your doubt will move you closer to him in cases of prolonged uncomfortable situation such as sickness disease hardship poverty and life one seems to be tempted to doubt his ability and desire to help. What one has not experienced before in one's life propping up will generate anxiety, worry, panic, doubt in one's face. Overcome your doubts. Doubt can become sin if it leads you away from God. So skepticism, cynicism, and then to hard-heartedness. As you move closer to God, you will find the strength to trust God. And your faith will grow even stronger. That comes when we fail to stop long enough to observe all the evidence. God gives everyone plenty of evidence to believe in him. Hallelujah. Amen. When you know the principle of life, you will always reflect on life itself rather than the situation you are in. The principle of life is that nothing happens by chance. Are you without strength, without smoothness of tongue, fast legs, there is hope. Jesus is the hope. <laughs> this record is not saying, I have arrived. Remember our message here. Better is not good enough. <laughs> As a Christian, situation you are in serves a purpose. You need to know the purpose it has so that you stop grumbling, you stop murmuring. In the biblical characters, from Genesis to Revelation, nothing happens for nothing, and nothing comes by chance. In the biblical characters, you will see how much pain, how much hardship, trouble, tribulation, persecution, hatred, setback, sickness, disease, they endure to come to a new level in life. I know The persecution I went through was the Lord doing to strengthen my desire, to keep me for a new level in life. I know the hatred, the isolation, name calling, intimidation are the Lord doing to preserve me. 
the Lord used it to bring my real value. <laughs> the Lord used persecution to bring my real value. When you are your real value, you see life the way God sees it. You begin to see yourself the way God sees you. You work with God's projects. You get God's opinion about yourself and about others when you are in your real value. Let someone say real value. Real. That is what you want. Not in the eyes of people, but God. When you are in your real value, you live contentment life. Life without complaint. In the biblical characters, from Genesis to Revelation, nothing happens for nothing, and nothing comes by chance. In the biblical characters, you will see how much pain how much hardship, trouble, tribulation, persecution, hatred, setback, sickness, disease, they endure to come to a new level in life. Welcome to a Sunday service at the Synagogue Church of All Nations. TB Joshua is busy delivering an anointed message to the congregation. What is that noise? Where is the prophet going? See the crowd rushing through the streets. Where are they rushing to? What we're seeing is frightening. Armed robbers are shooting on the streets outside the church. See the man of God walking with boldness and confidence. He's moved straight to the robbers. See the people scattered. What happened? Well, let's follow the prophet and the crowd back into the church. The prophet is making his way to the altar. What's in his hand? It's the gun. The prophet has collected the armed robber's gun. <coughs> Oh 
Nabi Tibi Joshua kemarin dalam acara KKR pada hari yang pertama Bahwa kita harus meninggalkan pengertian duniawi kita Untuk mendapatkan pencerahan secara rohani Dan kami percaya mujizat-mujizat itu akan terjadi juga pada hari ini Mujizat akan terjadi dengan satu syarat dari Tuhan Yesus Yaitu iman Iman, berjalanlah di dalam iman Maka akan ada kelepasan, pemulihan, kesembuhan dan terobosan di dalam hidup Anda. 조사 목사님의 인도네시아 집회를 시청하고 계신 시청자 여러분들을 예수 그리스도의 이름으로 환영합니다. 저희는 오늘 예, 전능하신 예수 그리스도의 능력을 체험하기 위해 이곳 인도네시아 자카르타 이스토라 실내 경기장에 있습니다. 집회장 안은 예수 그리스도의 능력을 체험하기 위해 몰려든 전 세계의 성도들로 가득 차 있습니다. 성령께서 역사하실 때에 우리가 원하고 바라는 그 치유와 그 기적들은 분명 일어날 것입니다. 따라서 집회 현장을 시청하고 계신 시청자 여러분들도 전능하신 하나님께서 시청자 여러분들의 삶 속에 같은 놀라운 일들을 하실 것을 기대하시길 예수 그리스도의 이름으로 기도합니다. 왜냐하면 바로 그 믿음이 하나님이 그분의 일을 하시기 위해 우리에게 원하시는 것이기 때문입니다. 바로 그 믿음이 하나님과 우리를 하나로 엮는 바로 연결 고리이기 때문입니다. 감사합니다. Berikan tepuk tangan yang lebih meriah, lebih meriah, lebih meriah. Katakan Yesus. Katakan Yesus. Katakan Yesus. Katakan Yesus. Berikan tepuk tangan paling meriah bagi dia. Saudara tahu kita akan menium sofa. We will blow the sofa. Sebagai tanda kita sudah menang. As a sign that 
We are victorious. Mari saudaraku. Haleluya. 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 Haleluya.
Jesus, dá mãe Jesus, dá mãe Jesus, que sai do que dá e pula, pula, lampa, lampa, pula, 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 Right now, let me lead you to Christ. Ahora quiero dirigirte una oración de salvación de Cristo. Dear Lord, Señor Jesús, dilo, Señor Jesús. Dear Lord, a voz alta, Señor Jesús. I'm a sinner. Soy un pecador. I call your holy name. Y ahora clamo a tu santo nombre. Come into my heart. Entra mi corazón. Wash me with your precious blood. Lávame en tu sangre preciosa. Save my soul. Salva Lord. mi alma. I believe you die in my place. Yo creo que tomaste mi lugar en esa cruz. I receive you into my life. Y te recibo en mi vida hoy. Thank you, Lord. Gracias, Señor. For my salvation. Por salvarme. In Jesus Christ's name. En el nombre poderoso de Cristo. Amen. Give me time. Give me time. Give me time. ¿Cuánto dan la mejor ofrenda de aplausos al Señor? Aleluya, aleluya. Aleluya, aleluya. Uh, we shall be having Monday for the prayer for the nation. Dominica Republic. El día lunes vamos a estar orando por la nación de República Dominicana. At the pastor conference meeting. En la reunión y en la convención para pastores que hemos preparado. So eh, why we are organized? Why this pastor conference taking place on Monday? Entonces esta convención para pastores se va a realizar el día lunes. Special agenda is to pray for the nation Con una and the leaders of the nation. Para orar por la nación y por los líderes de esta hermosa and nación. The, and the unity in the body of Christ. Y por la unidad del cuerpo de Cristo. Thank you for joining us. Muchas gracias por acompañarnos. Aleluya. Aleluya. There is no reason for faith as good as the word of God. You must find room in your heart to bless his holy name even when he takes away. Weeping must not hinder sowing. 
Weeping must not hinder worship. We must adore God even when He takes away and give Him honor by a willing submission. The purpose of life is to glorify God in both good and hard time alike. When we know the purpose of our life, our life will have meaning. When you discover your purpose on earth as a Christian, no matter what comes, Lord, blessed be your name. In good times, Lord, blessed be your name. In hard times alive, Lord, blessed be your name. Whatever is your trial today will prepare you for extraordinary service. Tell your neighbor, whatever is my trial as a Christian will prepare me for extraordinary service. Your situation, your trial should not mislead you. Should not dictate the direction of your prayer. You can be sick and say, thank you, Jesus, I need your prayer. Instead of hear me, hear me, you say, thank you, Jesus. The difference between we Christians and others we Christian, our try, our situation, prepare us for extraordinary service. Why others, their trial, meant to destroy them, to keep them away from God? No one will maintain the position of honor. They don't know what it means to be dishonored. Love is the greatest. Let someone say, love is the greatest. Love is the most powerful weapon. I have never seen where hatred overcomes love. When you love, you overcome. Love does not allow us to kill. Love does not allow us to kill our brothers, our neighbors, even our enemies. Love becomes our protection against the hatred of the adversary. Hatred is powerless in the face of love's power and armor. Who is a Christian? A Christian is someone who is lifting the load with God. Who is a Christian? A Christian is someone who is walking with the Lord. A Christian is someone who is facing persecution and trials with the Lord. Who is a Christian? A Christian is someone who is in unison with God. If you are worshiping God, without depending upon the Spirit of God. You are serving a God you do not know. If you worship God without God's Spirit, in your act of worshiping, praying, fasting, praising, dancing, only hear yourself and people around you who hear you but God will not hear you love is the greatest
Your Love for Christ by T.B. Joshua. Goma love is but a shadow of God's love. Do you love me more than this? Nothing can compare with the power of this word spoken from the heart. Love can make a king abdicate his throne that is resigned. Love can make poor boy, poor man, beggar, become a prince. If spoken from the heart, God is love. He is without peer. That is love. Without equal, equivalent, equivalent, there is nothing to compare. Richer than any minerals. Love. Warmer than any sun. That is love for you. God love the orphans. The strangers, the widows, the needy, just name them. Therefore, man, if he loves God truly, is under obligation to love his fellow man. Love cannot exist without relationship. It can be manifested only where there is an object to be loved. You can deny God. You can ignore God. You can ridicule him. But his law remains constant and unchanging. Through his law, we love. By his law, we are a new man. In his love, we have newness of life. God's love centers in his will. And what is his will now? Let's define it. It is his will to give. It is our will to give back and also to receive. Surely, the Sovereign Lord does nothing without revealing His plan to His servants, the prophets. Amos 3.7 And He speaks in parables. Let's listen to the words of Prophet T.B. Joshua during a live service on Sunday, the 5th of October, 2014. If today is my last day, you want me to come out and say, today is my last day on the earth. Huh? No. <laughs> if God has shown me, TB Joshua, today is your last day on earth, and ah, I should come out and say, praise the Lord, today is my last day on earth. I will talk to you in parable, so that when I pass on to my father, you can now pick those parable. Okay, watch the screen. Just as Prophet T.B. Joshua had prophesied, when it was his last day on earth, he indeed spoke about it in parables. Thank you, thank you, our sister. Thank you. You may be seated, thank you. I want to thank you for your time and for the heart you have for Jesus. Good morning. You are welcome. Time for everything. It's time to come here. And it's time to return home after service. Many people 
want to be here, but they live in troubled spots. Don't forget them in prayer. For you to be here today is grace. What our nation is going through will soon be over. Let us watch and pray. The book of Matthew 26, watch and pray. Many of us are here, just pray, and then a lot of things in the house. Their attitude of unfaithfulness, disobedience, are still there. They just want to pray, receive prayer. It's also a painful. Anything can happen to them while they are coming to synagogue. There's so much kidnapping, killing, and destruction outside. Anything can happen to such a people while they come in here. But they are only to receive prayer. With their sham, with their bad attitude, they are only to receive prayer. So this is what we are going to resort to, interactive prayer section. I hope you listen to me. Can you give me a summary, the reason why we want to resort to interactive? You'll be at home, I will pray for you. The reason? Because Jesus is alive, and Jesus is everywhere. While you can be in Nigeria, Lagos, to pray for someone in India, let me hear from our father here. The reason why we want to resort to this, you'll be at home, we'll be praying for you, instead of coming here. Because of the times. Eh? Because of the times, and more so, that these people are very far away, and uh, God is... Uh, uh, Can somebody answer me? Because uh, some of us have bad attitudes. Uh, we are Christians, but we don't do the things of the Lord. This is the moment Prophet TB Joshua left the service. Let's open our hearts as we continue to worship the Lord in the beauty of His holiness. Jesus, 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 what a wonder you are. Jesus, 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 what a wonder you are. Oh, Jesus, what a wonder you are. During the Emmanuel TV Partners meeting on Saturday, the 5th of June, 2021, Prophet TB Joshua said, time for everything. Now, shortly after walking out of the prayer garden, he was called home to rest. Just before this happened, God had given one of the Emmanuel TV partners a revelation of how his servant prophet TB Joshua would be called home to eternal glory. Right now, we want to meet this partner who is in our midst today. And so we want to welcome you in Jesus' name. You're very welcome. Please, can you introduce yourself to us and tell us the revelation you had that day? My name is Pastor Ifai Ikechuku. On that very day, which is the 5th of June, Saturday, we were on the mountain at the partner meetings. We were praising the Lord. So there's a lot of worship going on. So I stood up. I was worshiping the Lord. I was deeply in worship. Immediately, my eyes opened. I saw something. People were running into scatter. This is my revelation. And uh, as they were running around, so I quickly opened my eyes. I thought it was real. I looked back. Everybody was still deeply in worship. I said, I had this revelation. I closed my eyes again. I was worshiping the Lord. The revelation came the second time. 
So I sat down. I began to pray. I was praying. I opened my eye because I was meditating on what I saw. I saw an angel right from this point descending. As the angel descended, ah, I was amazed. I said, ah. I was looking at the angel. The second one landed. It was very, I don't know how to explain it. It was very fast, like electricity, like as fast as electricity. It entered the second garden here. Nobody was in the garden. Then the third angel landed. Then our, our father in the Lord, senior prophet, T.B. Yeshua, came out. He was ministering to us. He was saying, it is time to, time to come and time to return home after service. So he began to preach. We were listening to him. So he, uh, he, he preached to a point. The fourth angel landed. I was watching them. Instantly, the atmosphere of our, of our daddy in the Lord, senior prophet T.B. Joshua, his atmosphere changed, his mood changed. He dropped the microphone that was on his hand. He, he, he walked around. He was so fast, he walked around and he walked through the gate. I was watching him, he was moving very fast. I feel somehow because I haven't seen him that way. I saw the angels there from this space. They descend very fast, like electric. The most important part of it, I couldn't see them walking on the floor, but immediately I saw them on this, on this garden. The angels landed here. The angels landed here. The first angel. The second angel came from the same point again, from this point, and it landed here again. That was the second angel. Then the third angel, they didn't come, they were coming one after another. The third angel descended again and landed here at the same point that we are there. Then our, our father in the Lord, senior prophet T.B. Joshua, came from this gate, the green gate over there. Okay, that green gate there. He came through this green gate and he walked through this path, through this garden, and he opened this gate and he entered into the Garden, the mountain where we the partners are where we are praising the Lord. And as our father came in, senior prophet TB Joshua, as he came in, he began to speak to us and he said, A time to come and a time to return home after service. Time for everything. A time to come here and the time to return home after service. So we began to say that, why as I was sitting, I began to think, because what I saw was in me, it's, it's, it's like a shock to me. I have not experienced such thing before. Then it got to a point, the, the, the fourth angel landed again. He learned from that point, and he came down from that point there. You can see it, from where the first angel landed from. They came down from the same point, and they, they came together. As the fourth angel came down, and it was in the, in the second uh, 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 garden, then our, our prophet, senior prophet, T.B. Joshua, was already ministering to us, then immediately, his countenance changed immediately, his atmosphere changed immediately. As he changed, he dropped the microphone. I saw him. He began to move. He moved around, he moved here first, and he moved to that way, and he turned around, and he passed through this gate. Very fast. I have not seen him in that kind of mood before. There's something I observed. When the fourth angel landed, they, I saw the antelope on their own, running through this place to this part. They began to run to this point. If you watch very well, you will see the, angel, the, the antelope 
They, they were running him out. They ran to this place. That was when the fourth angel landed. And he walked through this place very fast. The angels there, from this space, they descend very fast, like electric. The most important part of it, I couldn't see them walking on the floor, but immediately I saw them on this, on this garden. Right now, let me lead you to Christ. Ahora quiero dirigirte una oración de salvación de Cristo. Dear Lord, Señor Jesús, dilo, Señor Jesús. Dear Lord, a voz alta, Señor Jesús. I'm a sinner. Soy un pecador. I call your holy name. Y ahora clamo a tu santo nombre. Come into my heart. Entra mi corazón. Wash me with your precious blood. Lávame en tu sangre preciosa. Save my soul. Salva Lord. mi alma. I believe you die in my place. Yo creo que tomaste mi lugar en esa cruz. I receive you into my life. Y te recibo en mi vida hoy. Thank you, Lord. Gracias, Señor. For my salvation. Por salvarme. In Jesus Christ's name. En el nombre poderoso de Cristo. Amen. Give me time. Give me time. Give me time. ¿Cuánto dan la mejor ofrenda de aplausos al Señor? Aleluya, aleluya. Aleluya, aleluya. Uh, we shall be having Monday for the prayer for the nation. Dominica Republic. The día lunes vamos a estar orando por la nación de República Dominicana. At the pastor conference meeting. En la reunión y en la convención para pastores que hemos preparado. So uh, why we are organized? Why this pastor conference taking place on Monday? Entonces esta convención para pastores se va a realizar el día lunes. Special agenda is to pray for the nation Con una and the leaders of the nation. Para orar por la nación y por los líderes de esta hermosa and nación. The, and the unity in the body of Christ. Y por la unidad del cuerpo de Cristo. Thank you for joining us. Muchas gracias por acompañarnos. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. action creates action it requires performance mental action admits admires but does not act acting on the way is letting Christ act through you because Christ and the way are one Letting the way have right of way in your life is letting Christ have right of way. It is the way dwelling in you, which is equivalent to Christ personally being. Acting on the way then gives God an opportunity to do what? To heal you, 
to bless you, to save you, to deliver you, to touch you. Giving the way its place is giving Christ his position of lordship. I mean, the way dominating you is the lordship of Christ in you. The problem of believing is made simple. When we know that it is acting on what God has spoken. The wise man is the doer of the world. The other hears but does not act upon it. He is a sense knowledge hearer. He is a mentor a center because he responds to reason instead of the word of God. If he has faith in anything, it is in man. What man has done, science, works, organization, and so on and so forth. These are the things they have faith in. And French is all about fact, not truth. Because take and chain, but the word of God is saying truth. We may be familiar to the original Greek or Hebrew. We may know the history of the world. But that is all baseless, wasted energy if you do not act on the word. If you do not lead the word and practice it. If we do not lead the word and practice it, we cannot bring Jesus on the scene. What a grave danger of diluting ourselves, deceiving ourselves. What a danger if there is no corresponding action. If we say, in the name of Jesus, without corresponding action, it will be idle, meaningless, and often time destructive. It is the doer of the world that receives things from God. Idle words may entertain men. They do not reach God. How can I do it? That is the question. It is going to be according to the ability of God that is at war in us. You have him as your wisdom. He is your redemption as well. A redemption for your weakness and your failure and your lack of ability and ignorance. We have exact knowledge, complete knowledge, perfect knowledge. That knowledge is in the way Pray as God wants you to pray. Is the greatest achievement on earth. Such a life of prayer costs. You know what I mean by cost? It demands sacrifice. All oh, prayer sent. God people have spent hours, 
every day in prayer. This means prayer is a lifestyle to them. Is prayer a lifestyle to you? What is prayer? Prayer is a relationship that exists between God and his children. Who is God? God the Spirit? You. The rich thing about you is spirit too. If God wants to talk to you, your heart is the contact point, not your body. Prayer is a two-way conversation. I talk to God and God talk to me. That is prayer. This is what I mean by God's spirit in our heart enables us cry naturally, effortless. Abba, Father. This sense of fatherhood produces a natural basis for prayer. Where are we going? Now you have known your position. You are not what you say you are when it comes to things of the Spirit. I don't want the last day to come before you know this. There is a voice that was repeatedly, continuously put in my heart. The Lord said, I should say to you, what you have been going through will soon be a memory. Write it down. You know, we are going through the end of the year. What you have been going through will soon be a memory. It will be part of your history. Take note of that. Because your future is being fashioned at this time. Write it down. Your future. Be fashion. It's been fashion this time. Yes, you may look at the way things are going with you. All you need to do now, just take my word. It's not for me, from above. What will you say in the future about now? Think about that. What will I say? in the future, about now. Because you, you, know, you have to sit down and begin to think, oh, this is what I went through, this what, this is what happened to me. Don't forget, don't forget. What will I say in the future, about now? Tell your neighbor. I can hear you. What will you say in the future, about now? When we say now where you are coming from before coming here, your past, what you have gone through and all that, it will definitely come. It's a prophetic word for your life. Begin to think it, write it down. What will I say in the future about now? But those pain, those affliction, those hardship, those embarrassment will soon be take note of that well it depends on your perspective you look at things you look at TV the day is a man is talking to me he's lecturing me I'm not a lecturer I'm just telling you the message 
from above. I have found my own path. All because I see things differently. It's not the way you look at things, I look at things. I believe it goes to authority, authority not sitting different. That's why it's hardly you say, ah, I think you just are in this occasion. I find you in the party, I find you there, I find you there. I see things differently. When you come through the valley of shadow of death, you are different people wise, stronger, and better. Thank you, thank you, our sister. Thank you. Well, you may be seated, thank you. I want to thank you for your time and for the heart you have for Jesus. Good morning. You are welcome. Time for everything. It's time to come here. And it's time to return home after service. Many people want to be here, but they live in troubled spots. Don't forget them in prayer. For you to be here today is grace. What our nation is going through will soon be over. Let us watch and pray. The book of Matthew 36, watch and pray. Many of us are here, just pray, and then a lot of things in the house. Their attitude of unfaithfulness, disobedience, are still there. They just want to pray, receive prayer. It's also a perfect Anything can happen to them while they are coming to synagogue. There's so much kidnapping, killing, and destruction outside. Anything can happen to such a people while they come in here. But they are only to receive prayer. With their sham, with their bad attitude, they are only to receive prayer. So this is what we are going to resort to, interactive prayer section. I hope you listen to me. Yes, please. Can you give me a summary, the reason why we want to resort to interactive? You'll be at home, I will pray for you. The reason? Because Jesus is alive, and Jesus is everywhere. While you can be in Nigeria, Lagos, to pray for someone in India, let you hear from our father here. The reason why we want to resort to this, you will be at home, we'll be praying for you, instead of coming here. Because of the times. Eh? Because of the times, and more so, that these people are very far away, and uh, God is... Uh, uh, Can somebody answer me? Because uh, some of us have bad attitudes. Uh, we are Christians, but we don't do the things of the Lord. This is the moment, Prophet T.B. Joshua. And this is the faith healer, T.B. Joshua, also known as the Prophet. See 
his power over me is born. Joshua is a shy man who never speaks about himself. I don't know that I'm doing anything that no anyone cannot do. You people call me prophets. People around me call me prophet. I never call myself any name. My name is TB Joshua. God has made me a problem solver. I should be ready to solve both the big and small. I am a serial killer. Light now, stretch your right hand forward. Remember, the right hand of God is power. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Remember, the Bible says, Holy Spirit has been the agent into the one body. After your healing, see no more. If you go back to see greater things, something worse will happen to you. See no more. If you are healed, at, the, at that moment, and you go back to sin, something worse may happen. This case is just a minor. It's liver problem. The liver is, is, is a sore in the liver. So therefore, it's a minus. But I just want to hear from God. If I don't have solution, I will not come to you. So the way I'm looking at you, I'm very sorry. Please, I'm, I'm, I'm this, I want to hear from God. I cannot look at you. I'm sorry. I don't look at people when you are in pain. When you are crying, I would not like to see you. I would not like to. I don't know how to say sorry, sorry, without solution. I pray all the time for their security, salvation, blessing, and victory. So that by the time they go back, you glorify the name Jesus. So we rise up and then we start prayer. After the mass prayer, I can now move and touch you as the spirit that I, I want to remind you once again what we are aim we want to achieve. If what is possible for you is not possible for me, I need to remove the restriction. How do we start? We start by asking for forgiveness first. When we sin, we come short of His grace. And when we come short of His grace, everything that makes meaning in us is gone. Now, we want Jesus Christ to restrain us from sin that we may enjoy the joy of salvation. Prayer. Restrain me from sin. 
Restrain me from sin. Open your heart. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. May the spirit who dwells in our heart give us utterances. May the spirit who dwells in our heart be the voice of our prayer. Prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Let the people of God say amen. amen. Hallelujah. God opens the window of heaven to those who open their heart to him. I want you to open your heart. God opens the windows of heaven to those who open their heart to him. Open your heart. Open your heart. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, your heart needs to be sanctified before the utterances. The Lord will give you utterances today. Yes, you receive utterances from heaven. Come, Holy Spirit, into my heart and sanctify it. Prayer. Come, Holy Spirit, into my heart. Come, Holy Spirit, into my heart. Come. In Jesus' name, people of God say, Amen. People of God say, Amen. Hallelujah. Your mind, your heart need to be sanctified before you receive that touch. We want to sanctify our mind, our spirit, our soul before we receive a touch of, from heaven. It should be ready for a touch. Now, let us sanctify our mind as the spirit of God are in. Come, Holy Spirit. Come into my heart. Come into my heart and sanctify him. Prayer. Come into my heart. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Who is a prophet? The believer of people is that the prophet is only out to predict or foretell the future. There are two classes of prophets. We have a prophet and we have general practitioner one. The first class of prophets are those who have the ability 
to communicate the saving will of God to others. They may be called general practitioners or general prophets. They are true preacher, true teacher. Take note of that because of their deep knowledge of the scripture. They teach and preach about things both announced and known. The other prophets are those who receive direct and specific message from God. We are not used to this prophet. That is why most time the prophet is doubted and criticized. The unbelief is high because of worldly words, detraction. Because of what? Worldly detraction. Signals. You need the spirit of a prophet to recognize, to understand, or to know a prophet. Is a prophet. focus if you love your share as much as you should, you will learn that if you feel pain, you are living outside the truth where your light is coming from. Tell your neighbor, keep your focus, identify your source. This is why we're here. I, I, I promised to be here at 2 p.m., but it has been raining this morning where I was coming from. Yo les prometí que estaría aquí a las 2 de la tarde, pero de donde yo estoy alojado ha estado lloviendo desde la mañana. So thank you, thank you very much. Muchas, and muchas gracias. Aleluya, aleluya. Thank you, thank you. Thank aleluya, you. muchas gracias. So and, uh, like I said, we have little time to spend, and uh, by the grace of God, I'm taking you to the book of uh, Hebrew. Así que nos queda poco tiempo, y quiero por favor que abran sus Biblias en el libro de Hebreos. The, the, the book of Hebrew, chapter four. El libro de Hebreos, capítulo. And uh, we take our reading from thus the proof test. Therefore, since the promise of entering his rest still stands, let us be careful that none of you be found to be falling short of it. 
Dice el verso 1, temamos pues no sea que permaneciendo aún la promesa de entrar en su reposo, alguno de vosotros parezca no haberlo alcanzado. And uh, in verse 10, verso 10, anyone who enter God's rest also rest from their works. Dice el verso 10, porque el que ha entrado en su reposo también ha reposado de sus obras como Dios de las suyas. Just as God did from his. Como Dios de las suyas. Let us therefore make every effort to rest, to enter rest. Procuremos pues entrar en aquel reposo so that no one will perish by following the example of disobedience. Para que ninguno caiga en semejante ejemplo de desobediencia. For the word of God is alive. Porque la palabra de Dios es viva and active. Y eficaz. Sharper más cortante than any double edged sword que toda espada de dos filos it penetrates even to divide soul dividing dividing soul y penetra hasta partir el alma and spirit y el espíritu it judges the thought las coyunturas and attitude of the heart los tuétanos y discierna los pensamientos y las intenciones del corazón nothing in all creature is hidden from God's sight y no hay cosa creada que no sea manifiesta de su presencia so we 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 are going to continue the message We, we stopped yesterday because of time. Así que vamos a continuar con el mensaje que dejamos ayer por causa del tiempo. The integrity of the way of the Bible. La integridad de la Biblia. Yes, I was telling you yesterday that when you read the Bible, why holding grudges? Yo les decía ayer que cuando leemos la Biblia, mientras retenemos ofensa, you are reading about events solamente estamos leyendo eventos en la biblia so this is what we are going to talk about today y de eso vamos a hablar el día de hoy uh, bible is the letter la biblia es la palabra es la carta inspired by the spirit of god inspirada por el espíritu de dios The thought of it is from Spirit of God. El pensamiento de la palabra viene del Espíritu de Dios. But the language is from men. Pero el lenguaje viene de hombres. The word dominating you. Cuando la palabra te domina a ti. Is the lordship of Christ es in el, you. Es el señorío de Cristo en ti. That is the law, the word, the word of God dominating. Es cuando la palabra de Dios te domina. Is the lordship of Christ in you. Es el señorío de Cristo en ti. By looking, by looking into the word. Cuando vemos y leemos la palabra and acting on it, y actuamos en base a ella, you bring Christ, Jesus Christ, on the scene Tra instantly. Traemos a Cristo Jesús a la escena instantáneamente. I repeat again, by looking into the word. Quiero repetir de nuevo, al ver la palabra, al entrar en la palabra, and acting on it. Y actuando en base a ella, you bring Jesus Christ on the scene instantly. Traemos a Jesucristo en la escena instantáneamente. Be he, you see the healer. Se sano y ves al sanador. Be deliver, you see deliver. Se libre y ves al liberador. Be redeem, you see redeemer. Se redimido y ves al redentor. That's it. Así es. The word dominating you. Cuando la palabra te domina a ti. I mean the word dominating us. Cuando la palabra nos domina a nosotros. Is the lordship of Christ in us. Es el señorío de Cristo en nuestras vidas. This means faith. Esto significa que la fe is perfected. Es perfeccionada by our acting on the word. 
para en nuestra accionar o nuestro accionar en base a la palabra. I repeat again. Quiero repetirlo de nuevo. Faith la fe is perfected es perfeccionada by our acting on the word. En nuestro actuar en base a la palabra. So let the word live in you. Así que deja que la palabra viva en ti. Dominate you. Que pueda dominarte a ti. And rule you. Y pueda gobernarte. That is the word of God for you. Esa es la palabra que debes tomar. The Bible says, la Biblia dice, it is the way, it is acting on the way, que es actuando sobre la palabra, that builds faith in the believers, que edifica la fe en los creyentes. I repeat, it is acting on the word. Repito, es actuando en la palabra that brings believer, that builds believer, que edifica al creyente, that builds faith in the believers, que edifica la fe en los creyentes. This means eso significa acting on the word, actuar en base a la palabra, make Jesus vitally real to the believers. Hacia Jesús. Acting on the word, actuando en la palabra, making Jesus, haciendo a Jesús, vitally real, el Señor, to the believers, hacia los creyentes. Scripture is useless. La escritura es inútil until we act on it. Hasta que nosotros actuamos en base it's a ella. Useless. Es inútil until we act on it. Hasta que nosotros actuamos en base a la palabra. Like I say. We have just a limited time because we are trying to negotiate with rain. We don't want rain to disturb us anymore. We, this is season of the rain. Como le dije, eh, tenemos poco tiempo por causa de la lluvia. Eh, no podemos negociar con la lluvia porque esta es la estación, la temporada de la lluvia. Yes, in the in the book of John 6, 63. En el libro de Juan, capítulo 6, verso 63. Jesús dijo. Is where a spirit and life. Su palabra es espíritu y es vida. Jesus said. Jesús dijo. That is where. Que su palabra. Is spirit and life. Es espíritu y es vida. This means God's where. Esto significa que la palabra de Dios. Is spirit. Es espíritu. God's where. La palabra de Dios. Is spirit. Es espíritu. Created material things. Y esta palabra puede de crear cosas materiales. This means, esto significa, this means, esto significa, the spirit is greater than the materials. Que el espíritu es más grande que las cosas materiales. It has a purifying power. Tiene un poder purificador. It has a purifying power. Tiene un poder purificador. It has a converting power. Tiene un poder para convertir. It has healing power. Tiene poder para sanar. It guides our feet. Guía nuestra fe, edifica that nuestra is, is fe. A guide to our faith. Nos guía hacia nuestra fe. It is a food for our soul. Es comida para nuestra alma. It's a weapon for us. Es un arma para that nosotros. Is spiritual weapon. Es un arma espiritual para nosotros. It keeps us from error and sin. Nos guarda del error y del pecado. My brothers and sisters here today. Mis hermanos y hermanas aquí I, el día de hoy. I want to encourage you. Quiero animarlos. In summary. Eh, resumiendo. I'm encouraging you. Quiero animarlos. To develop your relationship. Que desarrollen una relación. I'm encouraging you. Estoy animándolos. To develop your relationship. Que desarrollen su relación. With the Holy Ghost, con el Espíritu with Santo, the Holy Spirit, con el Espíritu Santo, by daily reading the Word of God, leyendo todos los días la palabra de Dios, by daily reading your Bible, leyendo su Biblia todos los días, without holding grudges, sin guardar resentimiento ni ofensa en el corazón. I repeat again. Quiero repetir de nuevo. In conclusion, en conclusión, I'm encouraging you. Yo estoy animándolos. 
to develop your relationship que desarrollen una relación with the Holy Ghost con el Espíritu Santo by daily reading your Bible leyendo su Biblia todos los días without holding grudges sin guardar rencores resentimiento ofensa the, the, the word grudges people don't understand what I, 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 I really mean Cuando, let, him, let him give you a good example quiero darles un ejemplo del, del tema de, la, de los rencores resentimientos when you are offended cuando tú estás ofendido you produce much fruit produces mucho fruto much fruit mucho fruto such as outrage tal como odio anger enojo hurt dolor strife pleitos resentment resentimiento bitterness amargura envy and jealousy and en, so on and so forth envidia celos y, y así más cosas any of this cualquiera de estas cosas que llama spirit encierran o encarcelan nuestro espíritu any of this fruit cage our spirit cualquiera de estos frutos encierran o encarcelan nuestro espíritu and you need a free spirit to attract the spirit of God y necesitamos un espíritu libre para poder atraer el espíritu de Dios it is when your spirit is free es cuando tu espíritu está libre it is when your spirit is free es cuando tu espíritu está libre is sensitive to the spirit of God se vuelve sensible when al espíritu it, de Dios when it is not free cuando no es libre when it is in bondage cuando está en atadura when it is caged cuando está encarcelado by any of this sin por cualquiera de estas cosas que mencionamos strife pleitos anger enojo hurt dolor bitterness amargura hatred odio jealousy celos envy envidia you know as a christian you have no excuse to hold offense sabe como cristiano usted no tiene excusa para guardar ofensa whether you are right or wrong sea que tenga la razón o que no la tenga you have no excuse no tiene excusa because you need a free spirit porque necesita un espíritu libre to read your bible para leer la biblia you need a free spirit necesita un espíritu libre in the presence of god en la la presencia de Dios. You need a free spirit. Necesito un espíritu libre. To worship. Para adorar. You need a free spirit. Necesito un espíritu libre. Your only responsibility. Tu única responsabilidad is to trust the Holy Spirit. Es confiar al es en el Espíritu Santo. I, I repeat again. Quiero repetir de nuevo. Your only responsibility. Tu única responsabilidad is to trust the Holy Spirit. Es confiar en el Espíritu Santo. Keep his word. Guarda su palabra in your heart tu corazón in your mouth en tu boca and in every conversation y en toda conversación que tengas why por qué because the way porque la palabra is our contact with him es nuestro contacto con él because porque is where su palabra the word la palabra i mean the word of god estoy hablando la palabra de dios is our contact with god es nuestro contacto con dios and it is his contact with us y es el contacto de él con nosotros there's no other way to talk no, to him no hay otra forma para hablar con él there's no other access to relate with him. No hay otro acceso para relacionarnos con él. The where, la palabra, 
is his contact is our contact with him es nuestro contacto con él and it is his contact with us y es el contacto de él con nosotros you say how are you god es como estás tú dios is well a través de la palabra by his spirit por el espíritu jesus jesus bless me bendíceme through his word a través de su palabra by his spirit por su espíritu jesus jesus be he se sano all this through his word todo esto, esto es a través de su palabra by his spirit por su espíritu I repeat again before I leave you. Quiero repetir antes de terminar. Your only responsibility. Tu única responsabilidad is to trust the Holy Spirit. Es confiar en el Espíritu Santo. Keep his word. Guarda su palabra in your heart. En tu corazón. In your mouth, en tu boca, and in every conversation, y en toda conversación que sostengas, because, porque, the word, la palabra, is our contact with him, es nuestro contacto con él, and it is his contact with us, y él es y es su contacto con nosotros. I want to talk to you. How are you? Quiero hablar contigo. ¿Cómo estás? This is this is today language. Este es el lenguaje de hoy en día. I, I don't need the word of God to talk to you. Yo no necesito la palabra de Dios para hablar contigo. If I want to talk to you, how are you? Si yo quiero hablar contigo, ¿cómo estás? That is today language. Este es el lenguaje de hoy en día. What if you are God? Pero si tú estás con Dios, I need God's word. Necesito la palabra de Dios to talk to you. Para hablar contigo. The way la palabra is our contact with him es nuestro contacto con él and it is our contact it is his contact with us y también es su contacto con nosotros bless you dios te bendiga i will have gone further hubiese ido más todavía más adelante we are with rain. pero tuvimos que negociar con la lluvia This is rain season. esta es la estación de lluvia This is rain season. esta es la estación de lluvia y la lluvia es un agente de Dios It's doing his, his carry out his duty. Está haciendo su deber. Just as I'm carrying out my duty. Así como yo estoy llevando a cabo mi deber. So this is his season. Así como as, como es la estación. I need to beg him. Tengo que rogarle. Please give me time. Por favor, dame tiempo. Let's go. Vamos. Thank you, thank you. Muchas gracias, muchas gracias. Please be calm, be calm. Por favor, tengan calma, tengan calma. If you if you say you believe, si tú dices que crees, you don't need to worry. No tienes por qué preocuparte. Your worry shows that you have not believed. Tu preocupación está cancelando tu creer. So worry shows you have not believed. Así que no te preocupes. 
Your heart is not free from anxiety. Cuando te preocupas, tu corazón no está libre. That is why it is not enough to believe. Por esa razón no es suficiente solamente creer. You have to speak your faith. Tienes que hablar your faith. tu fe. So stay where you are. Así que quédense donde están. Your worry show that you have no faith. El, el preocupación cancela tu fe. If you have faith, si tienes fe, úsala para Dios. Put everything behind you. Pon todo detrás. This, this is a question of a heart. Tema de corazón. I take it again. Quiero this repetir. is a question of the heart. Este es un tema que tiene que ver con el corazón. If you believe, si usted cree, if you trust, si confías, whom do you trust in your heart? A quién estás confiando en tu corazón? You can say I believe. Puede decir yo creo. Whom do you believe in pero, your heart? Pero en quién estás creyendo en tu corazón? I trust. Yo confío. Whom do you trust in your heart? A quién estás confiando en tu corazón? Because faith is of man heart. Porque la fe tiene que ver con el corazón del hombre. To trust in your heart solve the problem. Entonces la situación es a quién tú confías en tu corazón y eso va a solventar el problema. If you trust Jesus, si confías en Jesús, with all your heart, con todo tu corazón, your heart will be free tu from anxiety. Será libre de la ansiedad. You will be free from worry. Será libre de la preocupación. So trust Jesus. Así que confía en Jesús. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Take a ball, take a ball. Leave the play, not a non sharp place. Come on! Look at this woman. Look at this woman. Uh, uh. Come on, come on! Vamos! Oh. Vamos. 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 Come on, come on. Hey! Praise the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Vamos. Hey! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come
Hombre, Dios, ayúdame. No tengo huesos. Ayúdame. Man of God, help me. No tengo huesos. Man of God, help me. No tengo huesos. I do not have bones. Man of God, help me. No puedo caminar. Tengo... I cannot walk. Man of God. Tengo una prótesis. Me tienen que volver a operar. No tengo hueso. They operated my leg. I do not have bones. Los huesos, tibia, rodilla y fémur. I do not have bones in my in my knee. The femur is totally broken. Tuve cáncer de huesos a los 12 años. Cáncer de huesos a los 12 años. I had cancer in my bones when I was 12 years old. No puedo caminar. I cannot walk. I cannot walk. I have bones, broken bones. A los 12 años tuve cáncer de hueso. When I was 12 years old, I had cancer of my bones. Camina. Señor, gracias, Señor. Thank you, Jesus. Gracias, Jesús. Gracias. Thank you, Jesus. Hombre de Dios, hombre de Dios, tengo un problema para caminar. Okay, okay, I want to kill her. <laughs> Nombre de Dios, nombre de Dios. Ayúdame, Señor, a dejarte, Señor. Ayúdame, Señor, en el de Dios, en mi espalda, Señor. Ayúdame, Señor, en el de Dios. Ayúdame, Señor. Men of God, help me. Nombre de Dios, nombre de Dios, Señor. Tengo un problema en la columna, tengo un problema en la columna. Ayúdame, Señor, no problema en la columna. I have back problem. I cannot walk. Profeta, ayúdame. Profeta, ayúdame. Ayúdame, profeta. Ayúdame, profeta. Ayúdame, ayúdame, ayúdame. Tengo problemas en columna. Help me, man of God, I have a back problem. Help my father. 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 Help my father.
Por favor, ayúdame. Tengo problemas para caminar. ¿Quién has hecho? Tengo problemas. ¿Quién eres? ¿Quién eres? ¿Quién eres? ¿Quién eres? ¿Quién eres? ¿Por qué lo has hecho? God, please help me. I have a problem in my knee. Hombre de Dios, ayúdame, no puedo caminar. Men of God, help me, I cannot walk. Toda la vida he sufrido con distintos problemas. Hombre de Dios, no puedo caminar. I can't walk. Hombre de Dios, tengo problemas de mi artrosis. I have, a, I have arthritis. Hace 20, 30 años por ahí. For 30 years. For 30 years. Hombre de Dios, tengo problemas en la columna y la cadera y rodillas. Man of God, I have problems my hip and my back. Levántese. Tiempo. Camine, camine, camine. Gracias, Jesús. Gracias, papá querido. Thank you, Jesus. Gracias, Señor. Gracias, Señor. Thank you, Jesus. Hombre de Dios, ayuda a mi esposa. Ayuda a mi esposa. Hace mucho años ya que no puede caminar. Man of God, please help my wife. She cannot walk. Man of God, please help my wife. She cannot walk. Man of God, please help my wife. She cannot walk. Tiene problemas. Hernia lo dijo. Kister. Tiene Kister. Y hernia en la columna. He has hernia in the vertebrae, in the spinal cord, and a cyst. Le duele mucho la cabeza también. No puede caminar. He cannot walk. Puede sentar. They cannot sit up. Ayuda, no, profeta. Help her, man of God. She cannot sit up. She cannot walk. She has a cyst in her vertebrae, in her back. Aleluya, Señor. Aleluya. Oh, Santo Rey. Levántese. Thank you, Jesus. My wife is healed. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Señor. Te alabamos. Hallelujah. Oh, Jehová. Santo Dios. Impresionante milagro que acaba de suceder.
por el poder de resurrección. Debe ser alta cosa. Aleluya, santo. Maduro, Maduro. Profeta. Maduro, please help me. Profeta, por favor, ayuda. Prophet, please help me walk. My waist. And my knees. Camina. Gloria a Dios. Vemos el poder de resurrección de nuestro Señor Jesucristo. Está caminando en la luz de su testimonio. Cristo vive. Cristo vive. Cristo vive. Dios, hombre de Dios, ayúdame. Mi hija no tiene problema en los pulmones y en las piernas. Men of God, help my daughter. She cannot breathe. She has lungs problem. Hace nueve años, desde que nació. Since birth, she has lungs problem. Tiempo de administración. Flora. Some people on the wheelchair, on the seabed, right over there. Whatever we can do tomorrow to help them coming to the mountain here. It has been very difficult for them to come here. You find that only those who are a little fit, a little bit fit, that can come here. So whatever we can do tomorrow to help people coming from the, down to the mountain. So please, we should, let us help, help, help. We are, because we have not seen enough. They see people, the little we are just seeing today, I think uh, they have opportunity to come down to the mountain here. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Pray. So whatever pain, whatever sickness, affliction you have, the word of God can hear you wherever you are. Jesus sent forth his word and hear them. So are you ready to receive that healing? Yes. So thank you. Tell your neighbor, be in an attitude of prayer. Tell your neighbor, be in an attitude of prayer. It is time to pray. It is time to pray. Be in an attitude of prayer. Right now, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? I can hear you. So we, we have received message about love today. Ask God to help you to grow in love. Help me, Lord, to grow in love. Utlub min al Rabb inno yatik tunmu fil mahabbe. Tibakesh mi Elohim la tetlecha la itbagir beava. Jesus, help me to grow in love. Yesu saeid ni anmu fil mahabbe. Yesu aten li li itbagir beava. Help me to grow in love. Jesus, помоги мне расти в любви. Grant me a loving heart. Dame un corazón que ame. Ask Jesus, grant me a loving heart. Atine el muhab. Tenle lev hava. I can hear you. Grant me a loving heart. Daruy mnie lubiše serce. You remember you are going home now to meet those who hate you. 
those who do not see anything good in you, those who have bad feeling towards you, these are the people you are going to share this love with. Right now, ask God, grant me a loving heart. A heart to give and share. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. A heart to give and share. Give me a loving heart. A heart to give and share. I can hear you. Dame un corazón que dé y que ame. I can hear you. Dame el lube y el cierto. In Jesus' name we pray. Bese mi aso anusal. I can hear you. En el nombre de Jesús oramos. In in the name of Jesus we cast out those evil spirit, cast out those affliction, cast out those sickness disease. Are you ready? I can hear you. I can hear you. باسم يسوع استنا ننتهي الأرواح كل آيات من نخرجها خارجا كل أرواح المرض ننتهيها خارجا كل رخوت شهم نحن خايفين لجريش أخشاب بشم يسوع. I command that deliverance on you in the name of Jesus. Deliverance on you in the name of Jesus. Deliverance on you in the name of Jesus. Liberación en ti en el nombre de Jesús. We Whatever spirit that has been tormenting you, I command them to leave you in the name of Jesus. Whatever spirit operating in you, I command them out in the name of Jesus. Какой бы нечистый дух не мучил вас, мы приказываем. I command them out in the name of Jesus. I command them out in the name of Jesus. I command them out in the name of Jesus. I command them out in the name of Jesus. Ордена фуэра тодо спириту, нэн номбре де Хесус. Приказываем во имя Иисуса Христа, убирайся. You demon. You evil spirit. Listen, listen. You evil spirit. I command you to leave in the name of Jesus. Leave that body. Leave that body. Leave that body. Ordena todo espíritu diabólico que deje tu cuerpo en el nombre de Jesús. Leave that body in the name of Jesus. Ocros me nada ya sabes si me asúa. Hasta ve ta tiela va ime Jesúsa. The spirit that keep destroying. Ocha, Ocha, take note. This is concrete. This is concrete. You are not in your church where there is no concrete. So this is concrete. Take care, take care, take care. Whatever you can do to protect them. We are not fighting them. We are fighting the spirit in them. We are not fighting them. We are fighting the spirit in them. I say to you, live in the name of Jesus. Live in the name of Jesus. Live in the name of Jesus. Ocros, be in Yeshua. Say be shem Yeshua. Peter, in the name of Jesus. Uchadi proch va ime Yeshua. We still have some of them around us, so they are not coming for laying in hand. They are not coming for prayer. So I command you to live in the name of Jesus. Ocros, be in Yeshua. Say be shem Yeshua. Le ordeno que te vayas en el nombre de Jesús. The spirit that kill, that steal, that destroy. I say to that spirit, leave my people. Leave my people. Leave my people. Ocros mi shabi, se me amshili. Deja mi pueblo, espíritu que mata, roba y destruye, deja mi pueblo. Ay, mi Jesús Cristo, hasta el mayor que llegue. Will you agree with me and begin to reboot that spirit in you? Agree with me. 
agree with me. Reboot the spirit that disturbs you, that bad spirit, that spirit that disturbs you, that causes you sickness, disease. Open your lips and begin to cast them out. Say, Say Jesus, deliver me. Jesus, deliver me. Jesus, deliver me. Jesus, deliver me. Open your lips, open your lips, open your lips, open your lips. deliver me. Jesus, deliver me. Jesus, deliver me. Abre tus labios y di, Jesús, libérame. Yeshua, shakhreruti. Kul roh yaktol wa yasruk wa yudammer. Besim Yeshua okhroj. Kul ruach, shuhu horrek. Besim Yeshua, sea chutza a. Todo espíritu que roba, mata y destruye. Di, Jesús, libérame. Jesús. Deliver me. Jesús. 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 Deliver me. Asvabadji minya. I can't hear you, I can't hear you. Open yes, your so lips. Open your lips. Ask Jesus to deliver you. If the Hatum Mahuar and Yasu Harin El An, Yeshua Shahreuti Akshav. Jesus, libera me. Sigue clamando. Todo espíritu que mata, roba y destruye di. Jesus, libera me. Всякий нечистый дух, который пришел украсть, убить и погубить, убирайся вон. Иисус освободил меня. يسوع حررني الآن أطلب اعتن فيه يسوع حررني يسوع شخرر وتي أخشاب You can see what You can see what is happening As the prayer is going on Those that possess contrary spirit Are under the torment of demons Are being exposed And those that have sicknesses Embedded in their tender In their flu They are vomiting out right now As the prayer is going on The atmosphere is saturated with the power of God. In the, the name of Jesus. You spirit that key that destroy. The spirit that cause nightmare. I say command that spirit out, command that spirit out, command that spirit out. Command that spirit out, command that spirit out, command that spirit out. Command us, Peter. Command us, Peter. Ordena todo espíritu que dé pesadillas en tu vida. Ordena de fuera en el nombre de Jesús. Command us, Peter. 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 Command us, todo espíritu que dé pesadillas en tu vida, espíritu que mata, roba y destruye, ordena de fuera en el nombre de Jesucristo. You can see what a man is vomiting right there. Poisonous substances that is in his system is what the Spirit of God is uprooting. Estamos viendo a las personas vomitando sustancias nocivas. Estamos viendo el poder de Dios ministrando en esta oración masiva. Espectadores, manténganse conectados y reciban su propio milagro. And the sickness planted in them, they vomited out and be free. We just see him coming. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 In the name of Jesus Operating your family. I say, whatever spirit that tormented you. I say, command that spirit. Command that spirit out. Command them out. Command them out. Убирайся прочь во имя. Command them out. Прочь во имя Иисуса Христа. Убирайся вон. Убирайся вон. Убирайся во имя. Watch the spirit of the devil. Todo espíritu operando en tu vida, ordena de fuera, fuera, fuera en el nombre de Jesús. Watch the screen of your television and see the liberating power of Jesus Christ at work. 
What you are seeing the people vomit out is what has been the cause in of pain. In the name of Jesus Christ. Kul roh be'amal fi'ailta. Kul roh be'amal fi shughla. In the name of Jesus Christ. Va yime Jesus Christ. Every damage organ in, in your damage. system. Every damage damage organ in your system begin to function right now. Begin to function right now. In the name of Jesus, begin to function. In the name of Jesus, begin to function. In your blood, begin to function. In your fluid, begin to function. In your bone, begin to function. In your Heart begin to fortune. In your kidney begin to fortune. In your liver begin to fortune. Open your lips and begin to command God to restore your organ. Prayer. Restore my organ. Restore my organ. Restaura mis órganos, Señor. Todo órgano dañado en tu sistema empieza a funcionar. Restaurami my organ in the name of Jesus. Restaura mis órganos en el nombre de Jesús. Divine restoration is going on. Open your eyes and see what is happening all around I you. I command healing on you in the name of Jesus. Be healed of that cancer. Be healed of that diabetes. Ordena sanidad en ti. Se sano de ese cáncer. Se sano. Whatever sickness in your blood, I command them to leave you right now. Whatever disease in your system. Leave my people in the name of Jesus. Open your lips and command them, command them out. 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 Приказывай уходить всякому нечистому духу из твоего тела, из твоих органов. Toda enfermedad en tu sistema empieza a ordenarle fuera. Ordenale fuera en el nombre de Jesús. كل مرض في دمك كل مرض في جسمك هو أمر الآن في الخروج بإسم يسوع. Sur la maladie dans votre corps, commandez à cette maladie de sortir de votre système au nom de Jésus. The healing power of Jesus Christ is what we are witnessing right now, setting people free from every affliction, every sickness, every disease. Continue to watch. As the mass prayer is going on, there's no hiding place for demons that have been tormenting and afflicting the people, and they have been exposed right now. And you can see also. At the table. She's destruction. Be healed in the name of Jesus. 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 Confess that sickness. Confess that disease. Confess that pain, that affliction. Begin to confess them. And get healed. Confess them and get healed. Confess them and get delivered. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Remember, I told you that every big thing starts little. The Lord set a table before us today. Tomorrow, you are going to take the blessing on the table. The Lord has set a table before you, and you are going to receive essential life tomorrow. 
so I have we partner. look forward tomorrow to receive that blessing on the table. So this is introduction. We are just introducing ourselves to you. So tomorrow, every big thing start little. So you are seeing little today. So right now, I want you to raise up your hand every good thing you know from your heart. You want to bless the community. You want Nori. to bless the authority Nori in charge of Nazareth. Nori Let this thing come, please. Let this thing come from your heart. Good thing, thing that matter to you, thing that you cherish most. Raise it up, raise it up, and let me bless you. And you are going to drop it. And then when you are coming tomorrow, I believe tomorrow you do better. So we are going to bless the community to we, that, that given us this uh, blessing. Allow us to be here today. So right now, we want to bless them so that they can bless their head, their culture, their education. Please raise it up, raise it up, raise it up. Right now, let us pray for our, our way to and fro since we are coming back here tomorrow. Ask God to make you a channel, a channel of law where there is hatred, prayer. Make me a channel of law. Make me a channel of law where there is hatred so that when you live here you can love those who hate you. Those who do, don't want to see anything. Those who have bad feeling towards you. So ask God, make me a channel of law where there is hatred. Ask him to make you a channel of shiny light where there is darkness. Ask him to make you a channel of obedience where there is disobedience. Thank you. I will be here before you tomorrow. I will, I will wake up and I will be here. So tomorrow you will meet me. If you cannot deliver, if I cannot deliver, you will deliver me tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mañana estaré aquí antes que tú. Спасибо большое. Я буду ждать вас завтра на этом месте. الشيطان صاحب مجد لك مجد لك مخلص ذبح على الصليب رفع حمل كلعنة العمل أكمل الشيطان صاحب مجد لك مجد لك مجد خلصنا مجد خلصنا مجد خلصنا وتخلص Let the
Hallelujah. They were all over the war. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's take our reading from the book of uh, 1 John, chapter 4, from verse 1. Beloved, do not believe every spirit. Take note of that. Do not believe what? But test the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. Verse 2. By this you know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God. Verse 3. And every spirit that does not confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard was coming and is now already in the world. Verse 4. You are of God, little children, have overcome them because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. And this will lead us to also the book of Romans 3, verse 10, and the, the book of Isaiah 38, verse 4, and uh, also the book of Luke 7, verse 2. Yes, we have heard the message that, Beloved, not every spirit, but proof the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. The question, 
how do we tell who is a true prophet and a false prophet? That is the question of from that verse. We can take our title, a true prophet. The one having the divine spirit that come from above is meek, peaceable, and humble, and refrain from all impurities, impurities of this world. The Bible says, contents himself with fewer ones than those other men. This spirit speaks only when God wishes it to speak. Tell you about this spirit speaks only when God wishes it to speak. People today think that healing, blessing, breakthrough, all of God's blessings are wrought at will by the person concerned. This is why today when you see a prophet, you ask him for prayer. Not mind whether it is right time or not. Then you see a prophet, pray for me. Prophet will not pray without spirit intimation, without spirit suggested. Pray. Timmy Joshua, pray. Jesus' name, Jesus' name. Timmy Joshua, pray. Without spirit suggested. TV Joshua will not pray. That is why there is breakthrough. That is why there is breakthrough. Others are always ready to pray. When you say, Pastor, Prophet, pray for me. Oh, in the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus. In each instant, a prophet will not open mouth to pray without spirit intimation. This is why when you meet a true prophet of God, say pray for me, you just say, oh, you are blessed. Go. A true prophet shall prophesy that which he shall live to see accomplished because intimation is given by the spirit. Let me take you to the book of John 7, verse 6. Then Jesus said to them, My time has not yet come, but your time is always ready. When he was called to go out, go and perform miracles, he said, No, it's not all the time until I heard from the Father. I will not do so. Take it from verse for, for no one does anything in secret. Why himself seek to be known openly? If you do these things, show yourself to the world. Verse 5, for even his brother did not believe in him. Verse 6, then Jesus said to them, my time has not yet come, but your time is always ready. That is mean. Others are always ready to pray. Say, pray for me, they pray. Pray for me, they pray. No, not at our will, but the will of Father. Let me just give you a short story, a tribute to my late mother. She advised me to look into my love work when I do not seem to receive from God, I should look into my love work. If I say, God, give me biscuit, and uh, after prayer, 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 prayer for many days, no. 
he said to me, look into your love war. That is love your neighbor as yourself. Look into that. Work on that. That's language. Because when I was in primary school, each time I came back from school, I would learn my mommy is in the mountain praying. So I don't bother to go home straight to the mountain. My mommy would be there praying, 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 praying. I to become prayer warrior from little age. Sometimes he would give me an assignment. Say, I used to have a nightmare, Susan's area. I should fast. By the time I pray, pray, I fast. One day it will come in that my prayer has answered. That made me to know that then prayer has power. He will tell me, the prayer you offer for me, I have stopped this nightmare. So that gladdened my heart. Ah, this is the way to talk to God. This is the road to talk to God. This is the road map. Yes, that is my mom. Right now, let me lead you to Christ. Ahora quiero dirigirte una oración de salvación de Cristo. Dear Lord, Señor Jesús, dilo, Señor Jesús. Dear Lord, a voz alta, Señor Jesús. I'm a sinner. Soy un pecador. I call your holy name. Y ahora clamo a tu santo nombre. Come into my heart. Entra mi corazón. Wash me with your precious blood. Lávame en tu sangre preciosa. Save my soul. Salva Lord. mi alma. I believe you die in my place. Yo creo que tomaste mi lugar en esa cruz. I receive you into my life. Y te recibo en mi vida hoy. Thank you, Lord. Gracias, Señor. For my salvation. Por salvarme. In Jesus Christ's name. En el nombre poderoso de Cristo. Amen. Give me time. Give me time. Give me time. ¿Cuánto dan la mejor ofrenda de aplausos al Señor? Aleluya, aleluya. Aleluya, aleluya. Uh, we shall be having Monday for the prayer for the nation. Dominican Republic. El día lunes vamos a estar orando por la nación de República Dominicana. At the pastor conference meeting. En la reunión y en la convención para pastores que hemos preparado. So eh, why we are organized? Why this pastor conference taking place on Monday? Entonces esta convención para pastores se va a realizar el día lunes. Special agenda is to pray for the nation Con una and the leaders of the nation. Para orar por la nación y por los líderes de esta hermosa and nación. The, and the unity in the body of Christ. Y por la unidad del cuerpo de Cristo. Thank you for joining us. Muchas gracias por acompañarnos. Aleluya. Aleluya. To get to heaven, you must follow the way of the cross. The highway to heaven starts on this side of death. And the entrance is very easy to find. Paul Apostle declare here that the road to heaven is not difficult.
to find. Nor to assess. It is right in your front. In the word of God. You need not fear where you are going. When you know Jesus is going with you. Death is not a period. It is only a comma. Because of Jesus Christ's death and resurrection. Any day, even today, may be our final day on earth. We need to be sure that we are ready to depart. If we are prepared to die, we are prepared to live. Whether you are young or old, what matters is the grace to continue living. Here after, that is the grace. A man may die young, yet be satisfied with living. But a wicked man is not satisfied even with long life. of the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And those who are baptized in the Holy Spirit will not stand anywhere and begin to condemn because there is authority in their mouth. If you have authority, that authority is to build. Most of our trouble are torn troubles. Each prophecy said, these men are from God. Their message is true. Believe them. Prophet, pastor, are sent to utter the deep things of God. For the conviction of sin, for edification and comfort.
secret of faith. Everything that comes by force is not faith. If you force me to be a Christian by giving me whatever you want to give me, or you adopt me as your child, you give me everything, and I become a Christian, such Christianity cannot last. If you stop giving me those things, I will stop being a Christian. If you become a Christian because of miracle you receive, if there is no miracle tomorrow, you will stop being a Christian. Never will truly believe our heart will be at rest. If our hearts are uneasy and restless, if we are afraid of this and that, if we are fearful and feeling lost, struggling with all our efforts to plan, to resolve this, to resolve that, this show we have not yet finished. When I see you are there, I know you are there. Do we have to force ourselves to believe you are there? Do we have to listen and research before we can acknowledge the reality of this fact? Do we have to contribute to think that you are there? Within a second, we believe spontaneously there is no need for us to struggle to believe because faith is something that comes spontaneously. If a person has not received the teaching of the scripture or the promise of the Holy Ghost in his heart, forcing him to do such acts is indeed a risk because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word. Must take God's word to heart. You must live in God's word. If you have taken God's word to have, you can act it. It will, by its very nature, change you. And when it does, you automatically find yourself at faith brings in restfulness because of the knowledge that God is for us. If God is for us, who can be against us? Therefore, there is the rest. Faith does not rest in itself. God is the place where faith rests. If we examine our daily lives, we will find out how much faith we have. Faith is manifested in the small things in our daily life. The Bible is full of promises for every matter. As long as you have faith, God will work for you. Secret of faith. step, every attempt, every move, ah, you want to talk. It makes sure always come to us. Suggestion, direction, indication comes to us from the Spirit of God. 
that the act should be performed. God himself inspires the spirit to work, to speak. Without direction from the spirit of God, if we give, we give of ourselves. The spirit of Father we are talking about dwells, speaks in meek, peaceable, and humble. Those who refrain from all impurities and their desire of this world. The spirit of Father dwells Space in meek, M W E K, peaceable and humble, and those who refrain from all impurities and vain. You know what I mean by vain? Vanity of vanity, V A I N. Vanity of humanity, the desire of this world. To whom the Spirit of Father directs, suggests, always requires the corresponding power. Those to whom the Spirit of Father has not suggested their time is always ready. The baptism experience of the Holy Spirit will not leave man's spirit free to choose because it is the complete domination of the Holy Spirit. If man's spirit chooses, man will choose fleshly desire, then glorious pursuit. I want you to recognize something. Healing, deliverance, redemption, these are not brought to pass by anything done by us. It appears that all is of grace, of all graces. Faith honors Christ the most. Of all graces, Christ honor faith the most. Recognize this. Those things you believe are impossible. Ordinarily, it's not possible. 
That is exactly what faith demands for. Tell your neighbor, I'm under his eye. I'm under his eye. I, know I know the protection. I'm under. I'm under his eye. Let me see your excitement. walking in the spirit listen I can see the power and the anointing of God walking in the spirit I can see the word of Jesus walking, walking walking, walking walking on God. One of the satanic tactics strategies is to get you to doubt God's goodness. When you are spending most of your time asking for what you do not have, you may be slipping into unhealthy doubt. God does not mind doubt as long as we are seeking answer from Him in the midst of doubt. If you are wrestling with doubt, attend a living church and stay close to other living Christians. Resist the temptation to isolate yourself because doubt feeds on loneliness. Satan can never snatch you away from God. He will try, he will not succeed. Never doubt God's desire or ability to help you. Reliance on God. The challenges before us cannot be withstood without God's spirit. If you have truly been born again, it was the Holy Spirit who completed you of sin and drew you into a relationship with Jesus. Serving God without depending upon God's spirit is like serving a girl you do not know. Jesus knew that his followers could not fulfill the commission. He had given them what is commission? To take the gospel to all nations until what? They were immersed, clothed, Holy Spirit will bring. God's purpose of sending the Holy Spirit was to empower Jesus' followers. 
was to walk in power. Jesus, follow us. You are one. If you are not tired until the Holy Spirit comes and fills you with power, you are carrying out a dangerous mission. God's idea and God's opinion about your art of worship will be idle, meaningless, and often time disrupting. When you act on the word of God, you are acting in unison with God. You and God are lifting the load, your responsibility, your care, your body, you and God are lifting them. You and God are walking and you and God are facing persecution and trial together. His strength and ability become yours. Works of faith. The unique place where faith is expressed is in our works. If faith and works do not agree with each other, there must be something wrong with the faith. Faith is expressed through his works. Faith worked together with his works. If you believe God in a certain matter, you should have a work of faith in that matter. If not, you deceive yourself. Your faith is fake, it's false. Otherwise, your faith will not help you to receive God's deliverance, God's healing, God's blessing, God's salvation. Tell your neighbor, if there is faith, as you confess, there must be work that corresponds with the faith. A, a good example for you. If you commit a certain matter to God, your attitude towards that matter will surely see a great change. The first step of our work of faith is to stop our own work. and rest in God's love, wisdom, and power. If a man believes that a house is on fire, he will surely not sit still in the house. Without work, faith cannot move mountain. You hear yourself, people around you will hear you, but God will not hear you without work. Desperate circumstances trigger desperate faith. When you run out of rope, you know rope, R-O-P-E. When you run out of rope, it is time to grab onto faith. When you run out of rope, it is time to get at the enemy and fight it up. It is time to do something different to change your life from failure to success. 
Sometimes we get to the end of ourselves before God can mold us into glory. Hard decision bring God's idea. You must have a hard decision. When you begin to have this, your life begins to change. Examine your daily life, you will find out how much faith you have in your business, how much faith you have in your career, how much faith you have in your marital life. Examine it. The title, Works of Faith. into one spirit. This is internal renovation. Oh, who have the spirit of Christ Jesus without difference are the members of Christ. Whether Jew or Gentile, Bond or free are all members of Christ. All members make up one body. Make up what? They are one body because they have one purpose in life. Jesus is the head of the body, the common center of the unity. Mystically, cannot have the same place, the same office. Take note of mystically. Each member has its particular place, particular portion. to each other. All members of this body are dear to him. Man's rejection provokes God's direction. Tell your neighbor, man's rejection provokes God's direction. 
we should trust God's authority, not man's majority. When you trust God's authority, you will discover yourself. God will direct you. Trust God's authority. You will live above your fleshy tendency. Your fleshy tendency wants you to walk to be seen by men. Talk to be seen by men. Laugh to be seen by men. Believing demise action creates action. It requires performance. Mental action admits, admires, but does not act. Acting on the way is letting Christ act through you. Because Christ and the way are one. Letting the way have right of way in your life is letting Christ have right of way. It is the way dwelling in you which is equivalent to Christ personally being in you. Acting on the way then gives God an opportunity to do what? To heal you, to bless you, to save you, to deliver you, to touch you. Giving the way its place is giving Christ his position of lordship. I mean, the way dominating you is the lordship of Christ in you. The problem of believing is made simple when we know that it is acting on what God has spoken. The wise man is the doer of the world. The other hears but does not act upon it. He is a sense knowledge hearer. He is a mental assenter because he responds to reason instead of the word of God. If he has faith in anything, it is in man. What man has done, science, works, organization, and so on and so forth. These are the things they have faith in. And faith is all about fact, not truth. Because take and change. But the word of God is saying truth. We may be familiar to the original Greek or Hebrew. We may know the history of the world. But that is all baseless, wasted energy if you do not act on the word. If you do not lead the word and practice it, if we do not lead the word and practice it, we cannot bring Jesus on the scene. What a grave danger of diluting 
ourselves. Deceiving ourselves. What a danger if there is no corresponding action. If we say, in the name of Jesus, without corresponding action, it will be idle, meaningless, and often time destructive. It is the doer of the world that receives things from God. Idle words may entertain men. They do not reach God. How can I do it? That is the question. It is going to be according to the ability of God that is at war in us. You have him as your wisdom. He is your redemption as well. A redemption for your weakness and your failure and your lack of ability and ignorance. We have exact knowledge, complete knowledge, perfect knowledge. That knowledge is in the way. All spirit operating in my life, come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. All spirit operating in my life, operating in my eyes, operating in my throat. Operating in my head, operating in my eyes, come out! Say, come out! In the name of Jesus, say, come out! I can hear you, come out! Say, come out! Di todo espíritu operando en mis ojos, en mi cabeza, sal en el nombre de Jesús. Bésame a su ojos, bales a la hayata, cruz, hay la ruaja, oculta, tirata. Command them to come out right now. Those spirits, the spirit that operating in your life, whatever spirit operating in your life, operating your head, operating your eyes, operating your throne, operating your tongue. Command them. Command them. Say. Out in the name of Jesus. They are out in the name of Jesus. Todo espíritu operando en tu boca, en tu lengua, en tus ojos, di fuera en el nombre de Jesús. Todo espíritu que ha dado vuestro cuerpo, dado vuestro espíritu, dice así, en el nombre de Jesús Cristo. Todo lo que se ha dado, Ahora, todo espíritu que esté operando en tu vida, en cualquier órgano, en tu vista, dile fuera en el nombre de Jesús. In the name of Jesus, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You know what is tormenting your life. Begin to confess them, confess them, confess those spirit that tormenting you. Those challenges, those afflictions. Confess them right now. Open your lips and confess them and ask Jesus. Release me. Release me, Lord. Release me, Lord. 
Tú sabes todo espíritu que está atormentando en tu vida. Empieza a confesarlo y di, libérame, Señor. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come out. Fuera. Come out. Sí. Sí. Come out. Y fuera. Confiesa a todo espíritu que esté atormentando tu vida de fuera en el nombre de Jesús. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever organ damage begin to function in the name of Jesus. That damaging organ begin to function in the name of Jesus. That damaging organ begin to function in the name of Jesus. In your blood, begin to function in the name of Jesus. In your bone. In your bone. In your kidney. I say begin to function in the name of Jesus. I command healing on you in the name of Jesus. I command healing on you in the name of Jesus. I command healing on you in the name of Jesus. I command deliverance on you in the name of Jesus. Todo órgano dañado empieza a funcionar. Ordeno sanidad en ti en el nombre de Jesús. Я приказываю исцелению прийти во имя Иисуса. That kidney begin to function. Kilu takrah balish tishtrel. That damaged organ begin to function. Я приказываю. I said that liver begin to function. Аклия шел хава кабет шел. That bone begin to function. Я приказываю всякому органу. That blood begin to function. Аклия тхилма абада хадаш. I command in the name of Jesus. I say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Begin to function. Open your lips, begin to function. Open your lips and command those organs in your system that are damaged. Todo órgano dañado, ordena que empiece a funcionar en el nombre de Jesús. Всякие поврежденные органы, начните работать во имя Иисуса. أي عضو في جسمك مش شغال فيه مشكلة أعلن باسم يسوع الآن شفاءه وعمله بالجديد الكامل الصحيح. كيف تقولين كم أنت فونكشن الآن؟ أورا أبرت بوكا يوردنا كله أورغانو دانيادو كي يبدأ في فونكشنار في الاسم من يسوع. كل معركة بقوش الخشلو متفكدة نخون. في نام يسوع. In the name of Jesus, I said that organ begin to function. Every organ, that damaged organ begin to function. That damaged organ begin to function. In your blood, in your kidney, begin to function. I said begin to function. I say begin to function. I say begin to function. Say begin to function. Open your lips, begin to function. Say begin to function. Damaging organ in my system. Damaging organ in my system. Be it my blood. Be it my kidney. Be it my liver. Damaging organ. Damaging organ. Tout organe endommagé commence à fonctionner maintenant. Ahora todo órgano dañado empieza a funcionar en el nombre de Jesucristo. כל מערכת בגוף שלי שלא מתפקדת נכון עכשיו אני אומר בשם ישוע שיתתפקד נכון בשם ישוע. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look, listen. I will not leave you unless you are set free. Mishrah hatrik yugar ta tetharar. Ani lo azab tchemat shetchtachriru. No te dejaré hasta que seas libre. 
you know, you know, today is the last day. I will not leave you until you are set free. No te dejaré hasta que seas libre. Listen to me, listen to me. Don't doubt. Don't doubt. You will definitely get healed today. You will get delivered in the name of Jesus. No dudes, sé libre en el nombre de Jesús. So that is the history and the record you put straight when we leave here tomorrow. تاريخ أكثر مضبوط بعد ما اليوم راح نترك هذا المكان كل الأمور السابقة انتهى ما فولها حياتك. No lo dudes. You will have something to say. Tienes algo que contar hoy. I'm here. I'm delivered. I'm saved. I'm blessed. Take note of that. Right now, follow me. Follow me. Say after me. I said that damaging organ. There is, there is a woman there. He has this face of India. It's his bed He can, I mean, anywhere he can mess up. So please come up. You bed wet. When you sleep, you find yourself wet, the bed, and it's an elderly woman. Please come out. Come out. Come out. You just come out, and that is the end of your problem. There is, a, there, is a, there is a woman, your husband sent you back, and immediately you learn of our meeting in, East, in Nazareth. You, 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 you join us. The document is with you that you should leave the, the marriage. Divorce letter are with you. Right now, because of this letter, you came here. So come, come out, come out, come out. في امرأة كمان في عقد زواجها في في الطلاق أجل عندها من جوزة مشان هيك أجت لهون فتعالي لبرا. They say woman tall slim you are bleeding as I'm talking now you are bleeding come out it is fibroid in you that is coming out. في امرأة عملها تنزف طويل في القامة تعالي حتى تعالي حتى don't wait until I call you by name. Don't wait until I call you by name. I want you to put the record straight. You cannot come here and go back with affliction. So your affliction must be here today. In the name of Jesus. I can hear you in the name of Jesus. That is a gentleman is a robber. He, he can stay anywhere that spirit is in him. But himself wants to get rid of it. So he, 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 he rob is still anywhere. So please come out, come out, come out, come out. Don't waste, don't waste time. Please, can, you can translate it in different language, please. Tell them, I mean, please. في إنسان في يروح سرعة. أنت بتلاقي حالك في كل مكان عمالك بتسرق. تعال لهون حتى تتحرر. يش 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 بين الدم يش بالروح شل جنيفا. تفوا خدسة عشان تشتخر أخشاب من كل أفل. You, we have a woman, your daughter just died last week here. Your daughter died, your dear daughter died, and you are here today. So please, come on, come on. We console you because I'm seeing a baby boy next. Hay una mujer aquí que perdió su hija. Salga por favor porque hay consuelo para usted. Ti imra ahona, shakhs aziz ala albha abli bjum amat. The lady that but what is look like India, India that India face. So please come out. La mujer con el problema de neuresis luce como una mujer india, por favor salga. Hallelujah. So the woman that is bleeding, please don't waste time. Please come, come, come. come. Let's try it all. God bless you. Hallelujah.
Emmanuel, Matthew 1.23 Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and a bird will son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, meaning God with us. Jesus Christ to empowers his followers to change the world today. Distance is not a barrier to God's move. Emmanuel TV, God with us. Fear changes our focus. Fear weakens our determination and will power. Fear is a more deceptive enemy than Satan himself. Fear not those who are with us, fighting for us, protecting us are more than those who are against us to destroy us. The angels unspeakably more numerous. God infinitely more powerful. When we cannot see beyond our immediate situation, we begin to panic. When we are magnifying the causes of our fear, we ought to possess ourselves with clear and great and high thoughts of God and invisible words. If God be for us, we know what follows. Every mountain for our sake shall be leveled. Yeah. The hill will become plain. Yeah. When we walk through fire, we will not be burnt. Yeah. If God be for me, Every mountain, every mountain shall be leveled. Shall be the hill will become plain. If I pass through fire, I will not be burned. Don't because of your trouble. Change your direction. God is still saying something. Don't because of your trouble. Change your direction. Don't because of your trouble. Change your confession. God is still saying something. In every situation, God has something to say. Tell your neighbor, God is still saying something. I will not because of my situation. I will not because of my situation. Change my direction. Change my confession. God is still saying something. I will not because of you. Change my position. Change my direction. God is still saying something through you. It may be to stop me a while. What can God say through your situation? It may be to stop you a while in order to preserve you. It may be to stop you a while in order to check you because you are going too far. 
it may be to stop you a while in order to prepare you for the challenges ahead it may be it may be to stop you a while in order to keep you for a new level it may be to stop you a while in order to reform you Tell your neighbor, I'm working with the law. I'm not used to failure. I'm not used to doubt. I'm working with the law. I'm working with the law. Therefore, I'm not working by sight. I'm working with the Lord. What is seen cannot dictate my direction. I'm working with the Lord. What is seen cannot change my confession. I'm working with the Lord. How do I know what my calling from God is? The first step in knowing your calling is to get to know God better by reading His Word. Romans 12, verse 2. Do not conform to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your world, of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. When you let God transform you by the power of Holy Spirit, He will literally begin to show you the way. God's will is the tool in the hands of Holy Spirit to nurture us and to furnish us everything you need to succeed on earth. Read it. It is food for your soul. Read it. It is a guide for your feet. Read it. It has a purifying power. Read it. It has a converting power. It is enduring. Read it. It rejoices the heart. Read it. To keep you from sin and error. Read it. Read it. It is so profitable. Anybody can buy a Bible. Not everyone has access to Holy Bible. Bible is for sale, but Holy Bible is not. You can find Bible in the library, but Holy Bible is not in the library. It's in your heart. When you carry it, if it's not in the hands of Holy Spirit, you are carrying a book. When you talk, if it's not in the mouth of Holy Ghost, you are talking to yourself. When you preach it, if that is not from the Holy Ghost, you are just telling them history. Talk scripture in every conversation. You may be on the phone or in a business transaction. Use the word of God to answer someone. The word of God becomes your database for your personal opinion. The Call of God by TV Joshua. May today be the day you receive instruction. May today be the day you receive direction. 
may today be the day you receive revelation you need. I can hear your amen. Immediately, what milk heard Jesus? He shouted, Son of David, have mercy. This messianic title suggests that he has been given divine utterances. Jesus asked him what he wanted. The answer is a simple I want to see. Batmail was saying to himself, I know Jesus will heal me. Truly, without faith, it is impossible to please God. In Hebrews 11 verse 6, for it is faith that sees invisible. What the ordinary eye cannot see. It is faith that believes impossible. It is faith that receives incredible. Right now, the doubt must be refused. Tell your neighbor, the doubt must be refused eh? and resolutely resisted. It is more essential that the mind must be alert, strong in this realm of prayer service. One thing you must know about mind. Mind is the realm of desires and feelings. You must guard the heart. It is the realm of desires and feelings. Think more before you pray. Walking in the spirit is so exciting because when you walk in the spirit you are not alone if it is not in spirit it is not in truth and so it is all nothing tell your neighbor there are supernatural gifts of the spirit given to believers to minister to one another. They are separate from man's natural ability. Today, we are being controlled in the ministry by the power on the outside, which is man's natural gift. And when we are controlled by the power on the outside, we can never be constant in our doing. When we are controlled by the power on the outside, what is sin? Say? Can you see? Unstable because it lacks the quality of being stable because it is controlled by the forces on the outside the wind the breeze you see that is wherever the wind blows there it goes so also, anyone who is controlled by man's natural gift, that is power on the outside, 
what you hear, what you see, what your circumstance look like, what you read. This is how your life He is never stable. He is never what? He is never stable. In his faith. Right now let me lead you to Christ. Ahora quiero dirigirte una oración de salvación de Cristo. Dear Lord, Señor Jesús, dilo, Señor Jesús. Dear Lord, a voz alta, Señor Jesús. I'm a sinner. Soy un pecador. I call your holy name. Y ahora clamo a tu santo nombre. Come into my heart. Entra a mi corazón. Wash me with your precious blood. Lávame en tu sangre preciosa. Save my soul. Salva Lord. mi alma. I believe you die in my place. Yo creo que tomaste mi lugar en esa cruz. I receive you into my life. Y te recibo en mi vida hoy. Thank you, Lord. Gracias, Señor. For my salvation. Por salvarme. In Jesus Christ's name. En el nombre poderoso de Cristo. Amen. Give him time, give him time, give him time. ¿Cuánto dan la mejor ofrenda de aplausos al Señor? Aleluya, aleluya. Aleluya, aleluya. Uh, we shall be having Monday for the prayer for the nation, Dominican Republic. El día lunes vamos a estar orando por la nación de República Dominicana. At the pastor conference meeting. En la reunión y en la convención para pastores que hemos preparado. So uh, why we are organized, why this pastor conference taking place on Monday? Entonces esta convención para pastores se va a realizar el día lunes. Special agenda is to pray for the nation Con una and the leaders of the nation. Para orar por la nación y por los líderes de esta hermosa and nación. The, and the unity in the body of Christ. Y por la unidad del cuerpo de Cristo. Thank you for joining us. Muchas gracias por acompañarnos. Aleluya. Aleluya. Profeta, tócame. Gracias, 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 gracias. Gracias, en nombre de Dios, en nombre de Dios, en nombre de Dios. Y en el nombre de Jesús, toda rodilla se doblará, toda enfermedad se sanará. Este es tu momento. Pobre Dios, tengo problemas en mi columna y toda mi familia. Man of God, I have back problems. Help me, help my whole family. Ay, avanza. Vengo de Argentina, pastor. Ay, Jesús, ay. ¡Jay! 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 ¡Jalo! Vemos el poder de liberación Obrando a través de su siervo ungido El profeta Tibi Joshua Jesús sanando, liberando, restaurando A Dios sea la gloria
Estamos viendo este maravilloso milagro. Es Susi, gracias. Es Susi, gracias. Gracias, Jesús, gracias, Jesús, gracias. Continuamos viendo la mano de Dios tocando. Hombre, hombre de Dios. Tengo hernia de discal. Man of God, help me. I have discal hernia. Hace cinco años que tengo una hernia. I have had hernia discal, discal hernia for five years. Tengo una hernia discal. A causa de un accidente de moto. After a motor accident, I had disco hernia for five years. A causa de un accidente de moto. Observe la administración en el nombre poderoso de Jesucristo, como el Espíritu Santo está utilizando al profeta T.B. Joshua para obrar milagros y prodigios en el nombre de Jesús. ¿Quién vive? Y a su nombre. ¿Cuánto se declara por esta sanidad? ¡Cristo vive! Levante los brazos, levante los brazos. Men of God, please help me. I have difficulty walking. No puedo andar, no puedo andar, hombre de Dios. Con todo tu corazón. Hombre de Dios, hombre de Dios, ayúdame. Estoy enfermo. No puedo caminar. Men of God, help me. I cannot walk. Continuamos en un tiempo de administración de sanidad en el Estadio Defensores del Chaco, en la Cruzada de Paraguay. ¡Hombre de Dios! ¡Ayuda, por favor! ¡Por favor, ayude! Estamos viendo el mover de Dios, el poder, en el nombre de Jesucristo, el poder de la palabra. El poder de Dios. Hace siete años que estoy con dolor en la columna. I have pain in my, in my spinal cord, in my back. Levántate, levántate, levántate. Continuamos en la línea de oración con el profeta Tibi Joshua. Donde sea que te encuentres, vas a recibir tu bendición y liberación en el nombre de Jesús. No hay dolor. There's no pain. No. There's no pain. Soy libre. I am free. Jesús. Gracias, Jesús. Thank you, Jesus. Hace siete años que estaba con este dolor. Este dolor se fue. Sentí un fuego en el cuerpo, ya no está el dolor. For seven years I've had for seven years I've had this pain. Now the pain is gone. Thank you, Jesus. Puedo mover todo el cuerpo, puedo saltar. Tenía dolores, no podía respirar, no podía trabajar, no podía hacer nada. Ahora que el hombre de Dios tocó mi cuerpo, sentí un fuego que me estaba quemando. Now all the pain has gone. Instantáneamente se fue el dolor, instantáneamente. The pain went instantly. Me puedo saltar, puedo correr. Now I can run, I can jump, I'm free. Corre, corre. Ayúdeme, ayúdeme, 
Jesús no pueda sanar. En la línea de oración de la cruzada de Paraguay con el profeta Tibi Joshua, abre tu corazón, prepara tu corazón, recibe por fe tu propio milagro. ¿Quién salva? ¿Quién vive? ¿Quién libera? ¿Quién gobierna? ¿Quién vive? Hoy quiero sanarme, señor. Tengo atrosis, presión alta. Hace 15 años, el nombre de Dios, señor. Me vengo, help me. I have arthritis in my back for 15 years. Men of God, help me. Sufro demasiado, no puedo trabajar. En nombre de Dios, Señor. Men of God, I cannot work. It's too painful. No confío, Señor. Oh, nombre de Dios. Necesito la Oh, Dios. Men of God, I need healing. El poder de Dios está aquí para sanar, para liberar, para bendecir. El toque reparador y sanador a través de su siervo. Hombre de Dios, ayúdame. No puedo respirar sin esta máquina. Ayúdame, Señor. Men of God, please help me. I cannot breathe without this machine. Ayúdame este hombre de oh Dios, no puedo respirar sin esta máquina. Men of God, please help me. I cannot breathe without this machine. Levántate. Levántese. Levántese, Remón. Ya puede respirar, déjalo. Y vamos a este hombre caminando libre a la luz de su testimonio. Para la gloria de Dios. ¿Quién vive? ¿Quién vive? ¿Quién vive? Continuamos viendo el poder de Dios, el poder de la palabra viva, el poder de Jesús trayendo sanidad. Help me, man of God. I've had three surgeries in my heart. Camina, 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 camina,
Thank you, Jesus. Gracias, Jesús. Gloria a ti, Jesús. Gloria a ti, Señor. Thank you, Jesus. Continuamos en un tiempo de oración, de administración, viendo la gloria de Dios, viendo el poder que hay en el nombre de nuestro Señor Jesucristo, el poder de la palabra viva, el Espíritu de Dios obrando a través del siervo de Dios, el profeta Tim Joshua. Tiempo de sanidad, tiempo de liberación, tiempo de bendición. Recibe tu milagro. Profeta, profeta tengo hernia de disco. Profeta, 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 tengo el médico, profeta, sáname. Please, man of God, help me. I have any disca hernia. Y este hombre afectado con el día de disco puede caminar libre para la gloria de Dios. ¿Quién vive? ¿Quién vive? ¿Quién vive? Hombre de Dios, hombre de Dios, ayúdame. Vengo de Argentina, ayúdame, hombre de Dios. Tengo hernia de disco, tengo artros. Man of God, help me. I come from Argentina. I have scoliosis, I have arthrosis and hernia to disc. I have disco hernia and arthrosis. Hombre de Dios, ayúdame. Ora por mí, ora por mí. Ora, que sáname, hombre de Dios. Man of God, help me. I'm from Argentina. <laughs> Y esta mujer está siendo sanada, restaurada para la gloria de Dios. Y vemos cómo se levanta para la gloria. Gracias Jesús. Nunca es testimonio. Gracias Jesús. Gracias Jesús. Gracias Jesús. Tengo en mi adicto. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Tengo, tengo, anillo con luna hace cinco años. No puedo caca. For five years, I have back problems. Tengo, anillo con luna hace cinco años. Hace cinco años me he roto acá. No puedo trabajar. I have this call hernia for five years. Y el poder liberador de Cristo está obrando, restaurando, liberando. Y vemos como este hombre se levanta libre, libre de toda aflicción. Remueve todo aparato para la gloria de Dios. Él es libre, libre. Gracias, Señor. Gracias, Señor. Gracias, Señor. Gracias, gracias, gracias. Thank you, Jesus. Hombre de Dios, hombre de Dios, hombre de Dios, ayúdanos, hombre de Dios, 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 ¿quién eres? Habla, ¿quién eres? Habla, ¿quién eres? ¿Cómo has entrado en ella? ¡Habla! ¿Quién eres? ¿Cómo has entrado en ella? ¡Habla! ¿Quién eres? 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 ¡
Vale. Hombre de Dios, cúrame en el ojo. No puedo ver. Man of God, help me. I cannot see. Man of God, help me. I cannot see. Man of God, help me. I cannot see. I can see. Now I can see. Well, there, Now I can see. Y este hombre ve libre para la gloria de Dios. Gracias, Señor. Gracias, gracias. Thank you, Jesus. Now I can see. Gracias, Señor. Gracias, gracias. El nombre de Dios continúa ministrando sanidad y liberación en el nombre de Jesucristo. En ese momento continuamos en la línea de oración con el profeta Tibi Joshua. Estamos viendo el poder de resurrección de Jesucristo, sanando al cautivo. Jesucristo es el sanador por excelencia y su nombre vive para siempre. Él es el mismo ayer, hoy y siempre. Quiero ser, quiero ser, quiero ser libre, quiero ser libre, y libre de de la cruzada en Paraguay con ahora puedo ver ahora yo puedo Tiempo ver yo me estaba quedando ciega tenía cataratas en el ojo consecuencia de una cirugía pero hoy puedo ver hoy puedo ver gloria a Dios acabamos de escuchar este testimonio men of God I can see I have a problem in my eyes but now I can see after the prayer gloria a Dios yo puedo ver el rostro de las personas yo puedo ver gloria Let's go, 
Y esta mujer puede verlo simplemente para la gloria de Dios. ¿Quién lo ha hecho? ¿Quién lo ha hecho? Es amarillo. This is blue and this is yellow. Now I can see. Thank you, Jesus. Vemos esta mujer que no podía ver antes. Solo podía ver sombras, pero ha recuperado su vista para la gloria de Jesucristo. Aleluya. Mate su sueño. I'm his honor. Una mujer. I'm a woman. En el vientre de su madre. Para que sea mujer. Todos los espíritus demoníacos están siendo expuestos. Gracias, Jesús. Están siendo avergonzados. Thank you, Jesus. En el nombre de Jesucristo. ¿Quién vive? ¿Quién vive? Y por siempre a él, gloria. Tengo un atrocí generalizado y mucho dolor de cabeza. I have arthrosis and I have pain in all my body. Vemos a las personas que llegaban con aflicciones, sin poder caminar, sin poder ver, sin poder oír. Las vemos libres en el nombre de Jesucristo. Libres de ataduras, libres de yugo, porque Jesucristo está aquí para traerte sanidad, bendición, liberación. Ten fe, abre tu corazón y recibe tu milagro. Autismo. Autism. Estamos viendo el poder de Dios obrando la vida de esas personas en poder y con poder. Cristo vive, Cristo vive, Cristo vive, Cristo vive, Cristo vive, donde quiera que se encuentre, Jesucristo está a punto de llegar a su necesidad, en el norte, en el sur, en el este, en el oeste, Cristo vive. Cristo vive. Cristo vive. Damos un fuerte grito de júbilo. De júbilo.
Dios, ayúdame todo con mi paciente. Estoy enfermo, te quiero caminar, tengo atroz y tengo la columna. Ayúdame, Señor. Men of God, help me. No puedes escuchar. ¿Por qué no puedes escuchar? Seguimos viendo el poder de resurrección de Jesucristo. Estamos viendo cómo Jesucristo, el poder de resurrección de Jesucristo, está liberando al cautivo y trayendo sanidad en el nombre de Jesús. Así que, ¿quién vive? Y a su nombre. Vamos a dar un grito de júbilo. Please help me. Estamos viendo a esta mujer recibir su sanidad, recibir el toque sanador de nuestro Señor Jesucristo a través de la mano de su siervo ungido, el profeta Tib Joshua, aquí en la cruzada de Paraguay. Jesús está aquí para sanar, para bendecir, para restaurar. Estamos viendo en este momento el poder la... de resurrección de nuestro Señor Jesucristo. ¡A Él sea la gloria! ¡Quién vive! ¡Y a su nombre! ¡Cristo vive! ¡Cristo! Y él es el mismo ayer, hoy y siempre. Este es el poder de Dios en acción, el poder de la palabra. Tiempo de administración, de liberación. Y Jesús está rompiendo toda cadena. Y este hombre camina, 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 libre, libre, libre para la gloria de Dios. ¿Quién lo ha hecho? ¿Quién lo ha hecho? Jesús. Gracias, Jesús. Si millones de esta generación han de creer, tienen que ver la evidencia de que Jesucristo es el mismo ayer, hoy y siempre. Y esta es la evidencia de que la palabra vive, de que Cristo vive y está aquí en este estadio. Vemos al hombre de Dios, ministros no liberación, en el nombre de Jesucristo. Tiempo de liberación. ¿Quién eres 
Vimos el poder de Dios rompiendo cadenas, soltando yugos, desatando toda aflicción. Y continuamos en un tiempo de oración, en la línea de oración, en el estadio Defensores del Chaque, en la cruzada de Paraguay con el profeta Tibi Joshua, televidente, recibe por fe tu propio milagro. No hay barrera para el mover de Dios. No hay distancia para el mover de Dios. Allí donde estés, Jesús conoce tu necesidad. Abre tu corazón, clama y recibe. Vemos como las personas están siendo desatadas de todo yugo. Oh, 
esposo, es mi esposo. He's my husband. Es mi esposo. Tiene diabetes. Una historia terrible desde toda su vida. He's my husband. He has diabetes. It's a terrible story in his life. Muy, muy malas, muchas actitudes. Es agresivo a veces. Se enoja. Very aggressive. He gets angry easily. Terrible words. Pride. There's been abuse. Abuse. His family. His family. Y estamos presenciando el poder de Dios aquí en el estadio defensor del Chaco en Paraguay. Gracias Jesús. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Okay. I, 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 I. I realize half of us need to go to toilets, and uh, they are very pressed. But because they see me in nature, they could not go to toilet. I'm giving you two to three minutes break to go. I will be waiting for you. Me doy cuenta de que hay unos que necesitan ir al sanitario, pero están presionados por lo que yo estoy ahorita en la administración. Pero le voy a dar dos a tres minutos para que puedan ir al sanitario. Una vez más, las personas que necesitan ir al sanitario, tómense dos a tres. El nombre de Dios continúa ministrando sanidad, liberación y bendición en el poderoso nombre de nuestro Señor Jesucristo. Prepara tu corazón, mantén tu corazón conectado. Puedes ver el poder de la palabra obrando a través del de siervo de Dios, el profeta Tibi Joshua. Puedes ver a Jesús trayendo sanidad, bendición, liberación a este estadio. Tú también puedes recibir. Conéctate por fe. No hay distancia, no hay barrera para el mover de Dios. continúa obrando, fluyendo a través de su siervo ungido el profeta Tibi Joshua 
Abre tu corazón porque Jesús está aquí para sanarte, para liberarte, para bendecirte. Jesús conoce tu caso. Y vemos a esta mujer siendo liberada de todo yugo, de toda opresión, de toda cadena. Vemos el poder de liberación. Esta es la prueba, esta es la evidencia de que Jesucristo es el mismo ayer, hoy y siempre, de que su palabra está viva. Recuerda que cuando Jesús sana, sana eficazmente y para siempre. Dice que tiene problema en el estómago. And my feet. In Lahore, Pakistan, thousands have gathered to pray along with Prophet TB Joshua and experience the real, authentic and forceful power of God that cannot be limited by space or by time. As they watch the screen and pray along with Prophet TB Joshua, the cycle of sickness, hardship and limitation in progress that have been in their lives from generation to generation are broken in Jesus' name. The mighty power of God is released on the scene and the people are disengaged from every demonic influence in their lives as they connect to the heavenly frequency and join Prophet TB Joshua in agreeing with God's word. As a huge crowd that have attended this meeting in Lahore, Pakistan, pray in faith, they agree that the way out for them has come. Their testimonies have been restored. Their destinies have been released. And a new dawn has come into their lives. In Jesus' name. Right now, I be those spirits Guru. that have been threatening your life. Jo aap ki zindagi ko tabah kar rahi hai. Hey!